children brought a complaint against his friend that they had a bet to determine who was on the throne. Let the complainant and the defendant speak before His Majesty. I, Chintua, confidently said that it was in the reign of His Royal Majesty, Ezekiah of Ezeala the second, the current Igwe of Ezeala Mufu Kingdom. But my friend here debated Argue with me, say it was in the reign of His Royal Majesty, Ezekiah Izubi the First. Waka kei koga. Hmm? Waka kei nako. Izuna, were you not there? I was there. Were you not there when this man betted with his wife? I told you. I was there. Thank you. I greet you, my elders. I betted with my land that it was in the reign of Igwe Ezekiah. SJOB, that the white men were chased out of our sacred river. Your Majesty, that is not just the problem. The problem here is that he slept with my wife and he got her pregnant. I never asked your wife to sleep with me. For crying out loud, I never had the intention of taking your wife. And I didn't ask her to get pregnant for That was not part of the plan. Izuna, you were there. Izuna, you were there. I was there. You were not supposed to get her pregnant. You bettered your wife. What's His Majesty, Igwe Ezekiah the Second of Ezeamuku Kingdom, wants to take a nap. His Majesty, the King, wants to sleep. So this meeting is adjourned until the King wakes up. Your newly married wife. Hey! If, uh, in fact, youths of these days do not have respect for marriage institution. Hey! I think that you are all foolish. It's it. Don't mind them. They think marriage is all about opening and closing women's legs. Oh. Hey? Now, now, now. The bone of contention here is that. Obi Erika said he's not even interested on the unborn child, nor the mother. Yeah. That he has a family that he's even struggling to feed. I'm not interested. Chintua, hmm. I hope you have learned a lesson. As I'm looking at your face, I can feel your pains. Hey, how can you throw your treasure out? The earth is a chess play. Eh? Hey. Chimpoa, I thought you were well at this. How, how dare you? Your own precious, just nori, marry me. I mean, oh no, go. Princess Delight. Father. I must commend you. For always being at the morning mass. I pray to God that one day your mother and your brother will join you. Amen. And that the blessing of the Lord will be upon His Majesty. And that will result in a total healing for Him. Amen. Thank you, Father Declan. I appreciate your kind words. It's okay. Send my regards to 
the royal family and his majesty. <laughs> I will send your greetings to them. Okay. Thank you, Father. It's okay. I'll be on my way now. Okay, <laughs> Father, something is bothering me and I would want to come to your office and discuss it with you. That's not a problem. Anytime you are ready, hmm? I will see you. Thank you, Father. It's okay. But the palace is busy. I saw some cabinet members. And the palace. Is he aware? Yes, my princess. He will attend to them after taking his nap. Very well then. I'll come back later. Okay, my princess. My princess. Are you sure my father is sleeping? Yes, my princess. So why is he lying down like that? What kind of postures? What kind of sleeping posture is this? Father. Your Majesty. Father, your princess is here. Please wake up. Father, wake up. Father. Father, wake up. I'm here. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. What's going on? What is it? He's not pretty. What? No, 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 no. Bada! 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 No! Somebody help! Somebody help! I want to hear the devotion of the Zest, the light. Yes, yes. Uh, what is going on? She's screaming. Daddy, wake up. I hope all is well. It's yours. No, you can't be hearing proper. Wait, let me hear what. Anyway, the flute is not hard. Eyeze is not here. Let us not be in a hurry to conclude. His Majesty could be sleeping. Yes. Oh no, you are right. He's the plasle. It's you. But that voice is coming straight from Igwe's room. And that's the voice of Princess Delight. I let her shout and scream for all I care. Don't we know our tradition again? Well, we must hear the fruit or the sound of Ikuru before we conclude. Let us not just jump into conclusion. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's your Kuro, you are very correct. Yes, we must hear the sound of Ikuru before we run in. Now let us not disturb ourselves. Let us go and see what is happening. Yes.
through the words of Brother Chamike. Why is he? I don't know. I don't know. Doctor. Doctor, what is going on? Say something. Is, is my father still alive? Doctor, what are these doctors? Doctor, say something. What is going on? Maybe we should allow the doctor. Allow him to do his job. Eh? He's dead. I'm sorry. What? Oh no. No. Doctor. Happening here. Is the royal family all right? But oh no, the Ikoro is not heard. So what is really going on? Ichi, no doubt. Let us wait for Enyeze to give us the update. Or should we go in there? Yes, yeah, let's, let's go. Have to. Oh, here he comes. Oh, thank God. Good. Hi. Oh. That's my brother. Uh, yes. Hello. Hmm? What is the reason for this pandemonium? Why the uproar in the palace? Oh no, His Majesty, Igwe Zeka II of Eziamuku Kingdom has just joined his ancestors. Hey! 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 Iroko, that she, the people of Eziamuku Kingdom, has fallen. Mm. Hi! How far is the bear that takes refuge in the fallen Iroko? They have scampered to the destination. Hi! Mm. Hey! Mm. Hey! Oko Sisi! Grab Iroko! Ezendieze! Your Majesty. Your departure from the mother earth. 
Everyone is already mourning. you too. I've been very busy. But I'm here now. How are you, Your Majesty? How are you feeling now? Do you want me to say the mass for you? Go ahead and tell me your story, Your Majesty. I'm all ears. I know your first wife, Ujungwa, and your son, Prince Afanna. They were my longtime friends. I knew them. But I don't know why they disappeared from the palace. You never told me this story before. But there's no problem. I will go to Aguilera. There we go. Your Majesty, I am going to go with these letters. It's okay, Your Majesty. It's okay. They are your story. 
I have to go with them. My good friends, I will never relent in praying for you. I pray the good Lord will continue to bless you and keep your soul. And we go. I beg to take my leave now, Your Majesty. I have said my own. No cops is leaving this palace. It will not happen. Well, it will be very demean of me to bank my words. As long as I am concerned, you're irrelevant and so is everything you say. Jamie Kate, you are foolish to call my mother irrelevant in this palace. Watch your talk, man. You are crossing the boundary. And what boundaries are you talking about? I said it! As as I am concerned, no cops will sleep in this house! There are places meant for cops. A place called mortuary. I am sure you and your mother are not conversant with that word. I am aware of that. You don't need to educate me, Jamike. You are? I know you never liked his majesty. You wanted him dead. Oh, oh it has happened. Bravo. But I will tell you that I know when they get back to you in this palace. Therefore, you will not dictate what will happen to my husband's dead body. It will never happen. Never. And you were just a maid that fought her way to royalty. I know the history, so you don't need to take us back. Hey, hey, hey. can a poor talk to black? Yes, if not for the death of Asan and his mother, you would have killed your baby. We all fought our ways in. So do not give me that son. Okay? Yes. I still stand on this desk to reject my husband's cause. Live in this palace. And I said my husband's cause will go to the It will not happen. It will happen. Never. It will happen. Let's see. We shall see. His majesty is alive. He's not dead. Let the peace of the Lord be on this family. This life is like a dream. It never goes the way we thought. This life is like a dream. It never goes the way you thought. Walla 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 if I That priest must have done something. Eh? I, I think that priest is very powerful. Yes. Eh? I see why His Majesty loves him so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This has never occurred in the history of Asia Muku Kingdom that a man would die and rise again. Hey, let, me, let me tell you, huh? it's a mystery indeed. Huh? Very great mystery. Don't fear that place. Eh? You had the God 
to send your puppet eh, to insult me today. You're finished. I said, you're finished. But wait, oh. wait. Come to think about it. <coughs> How can they say that Igwe is a car the second? He's dead. Eh? Wait, won't they allow him to die his death? Eh, what am I talking about? Eh? The Igwe cannot just die like that. No, he has to decide when to die. And before the Igwe will join his ancestors, he has to undo all that he did. Okuku. Take it easy on yourself. Thank you very much. I will take it easy on myself. You that is going like this now, if they give you this load that I'm carrying, you will die before me. Even the way you're going now, even the gods are aware that I'm better than you. See, in fact, you are the one I'm supposed to be telling. The royal family, all of them, they are all evil. Except the light, my future wife. Oh, the gods be praised. <laughs> I will come and marry her. She has a good heart. She has a good heart. See, what am I saying, sir? The Igwe needs to wait and pay my Pawain salary for this month before he joins his ancestors. I'm telling you. Even. <coughs> no! The award winner for foolishness of the nation has just passed. <laughs> the winning foolish man of the year award goes to Mag Continue, Chimko, or maybe I did not understand what you were saying. <laughs> Can you repeat yourself? Am I afraid of you? Eh? See, in fact. How is your pregnant wife doing? <laughs> See, you're a brave man. They would have sent you to the Fourth World War. <laughs> you, if I take five, check me. Oh, eh? Your mates are betting with house, land, and car. Mm -mm. You decided to bet with your wife, Oledo. Okunta. Oh, hey, shut up. See, when I'm talking, you shut up. Because if I'm already do your wife, see, I'll go back to my father's house. Or uh, maybe beg Obierika to take me as second wife. Okota, you're mocking me. <laughs> <laughs> no, mocking you or mock news. No, no, because there's a mock before the news. See, let me tell you, I believe that this thing was a plan work between you and Obierika. Yes! It was a plan work. Eh? Because not even a madman will allow anybody to touch his beautiful mad wife. That is, dirty and um, uh, mad people. What am I even talking about? See, let me tell you. Not even a boy. A boy, the madman at the village square. We allow anybody to do that. He will bite your skin out. Yes. Eh, but you. Nothing. You don't have sense. Okota. Hmm? Let this be the very first and the last time you see me passing on this road. Mm. And you stop me to say such nonsense. Because when you see you, I will give you heavy blows. Eh? And I will tear your mouth. How hey! dare you? <laughs> oh. Wait, this is your blow. Is it a recent blow or old blow? Because if it's old blow, how come you did not blow Obierika when he was knocking? Mm, mm, mm. He did not knock your wife. He was on a drive, van, van, van. Ay! 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 Is it me that you are pushing down? Eh? Okay, I, 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 I,
Hi, he's because the sun is entering my eye. It's because the sun is entering my eye. Hi, it's me. Hi. Ooh. See, next baby there, I will be the next baby that will draw your wife, bam, bam, bam. I'll tell you what I said. You give me that one. I'll tell you what I said. You want to try to play fast with me? How dare you? Come talk to me. How dare you? Come here. The juice. What happened to the juice? You changed it. If I found out that you lied to me, that you ever tried to play fast one and me, I'll ask the guards to take you outside the kingdom and stone you to death. You hear me? Ezeamoku. Our Igwe died and resurrected after a couple of hours. That's the mysterious. I don't think it's ordinary. And it's not a miracle either. Oh, what will it be called if it's not a miracle? And tell me the right word, one word to describe a mysterious event as this. Okay. First, our Igwe went dumb. Almost like an imbecile. He could not be right to us what happened to his voice up to date. He had a mysterious accident that killed the other three Igwe's. Left only him alive. See now. He died and woke up again. I, I, I think the God of the white is protecting him. Oh yes! Remember, he built St. John Cathedral for the converse of those days. Uh -huh. He gave a large portion of the royal land to the missionaries and forced our villagers to build the church. To me, I think that the good work he did when he took over from his father paved way for him. You may be right, who knows? Yes, you think very far. But come to think of it, we all know that his source of wealth and all he wanted in life is from the deity of Ujumi River. Can one serve two masters at the same time? That is my question. Ichirondo, I think you may be far from the truth. Yes, because if you think that all of us know 
the source of his majesty's vast wealth. I, I don't know. I don't either. Because if he got his wealth from Wayimini Ojomi and used it to build churches, she would have killed him now. All of us know that Ojomi deity is a dangerous and a, a jealous woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My elders, there are some things we need to leave for the gods to decide. Please, let's go to our houses. Juma agreed to return to the palace with her son. Why did he want me to embark on this journey? Aguilera is very far from here. Was I good to Aguilera? Or should I ride the priest over there? Lolo Juma is of a Catholic faith. No. Let me go by myself. I will go. He wants me to go for him. Yes. How we go? How we go? Father, Father, oh, Father, oh, Father, Father, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Father. Oh goodness, I don't know how to thank you. I mean, I'm overjoyed. I'm the happiest princess in the whole world, Father. Thank you. God bless you, Father. Mm -hmm. Father, thank you. Please, 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 sit, 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 sit. Father, thank you so much. Thank you for bringing His Majesty, my father, back to life. I mean, I know that it was possible because of all your prayers and all the sacrifices we'll be offering to the altar of God. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. The story behind His Majesty coming back to life is not my making. It's just by the sheer grace of God. Yeah. I'll be offering two calves as thanksgiving for what God has done in my family. It's a great miracle. And I also feed all the resident priests for one year. That is great. As for your cars, don't worry about twirling it. <laughs> I have that under control. Princess Delight, I can see how glad you are. <laughs> Any other thing you want me to do, feel free. I'll do it. Please. That's I'm happy. Okay. It's, it's okay. <laughs> All the praises should be given to God. Who does his things in a wonderful way? And his wonderful work is marvelous in our sight. Amen. Let every praise and honor be given to him. <laughs> you see, the Lord will always do his own things his own way. And we mutter, what do we do? It's only to praise him. Thank you for contributing and giving to the works of the Lord. Thank you. I will tell the other priest to pray for you and the royal family. Thank you, Father. It's okay. Thank you so it's much. Okay. <sighs> this life is like a dream. It never goes the way we thought. This life is like a dream. It never goes the way you thought. Yeah, 
Declan is evil. He carried out a mass that resurrected my father. This whole thing sickens me. Why has my imbecile father refused to die? Why is he stopping me from becoming the next king? Why? The best thing to do is to bar Father Decline from coming to this palace. All our effort is nullified. Right now your father is breathing and smiling with Princess Delight as we speak. So we have to bar Father Decline from coming to this palace. And then we'll find another means to kill the king. thing has not happened in the land of Evian Manku Kingdom. See, I'm very scared. His Majesty died and resurrected. I'm really scared. Me too. This has never happened in this kingdom. Look, everybody is scared. The quietness in this palace speaks more terror than jubilation. His Majesty died and resurrected after how many hours? It's scary to me. I heard Lolo Ashalugo is not happy that the king resurrected. Isn't it? Ha! Isn't it? Come Look at my office. There is nothing in it. We did not see this evening. I'm going, you know. You like you sit for Please wait for me. I Are you going? No, I'll wait for you. Point of correction. High tension. Prince, high tension. 
hope all is well. All is not well. I've come to warn you. Stay away from the palace. Never set foot in the palace again. May I know why? is a fetish man, very fetish man. He's just using Christianity to cover up him. Oh God, uh -huh. watch your mouth. Uh -huh. How can you say such a thing to our Igwe? Are you okay? My dear, I would advise you to listen to Okonta. He might be drunk, no doubt. But you see that guy, he sees in the spirit. Oh God, hmm? I can see you have taken part in Okonta's pan wine. He has given you excess pan wine to drink. I can see that. It's alright, you are doing great. I'm Wind not off. taking anything from him, eh? That guy says the fact, so I advise you to listen to him in case you need breaking news. Which fact are you talking about, eh? I can't believe you are saying this, Ogo. What makes a word from a drunk like Okonta factual? Tell me, eh? It is only a foolish person that will regard his words. 
Have you forgotten that uh, uh, our Igwe, the king, built a, a what's it called, a St. John's Cathedral? When he was very young, in the 60s. Or didn't your father uh, uh, tell you histories? Okay. Two years later, what now happened? The same our Igwe built the path for Ojomi River to flow down to the Mother River. Uh -huh. And then he declared, he declared his allegiance to the deity of Ojomi River. Didn't your father tell you that? Okay, you don't know that because he defaulted his vow. That is, I mean, the agreement he had with her. That's why she, she caused him to remain dumb. You don't know. Okay. Just watch yourself talk. Okay. Just watch yourself talk. Please, I don't want to talk about this. You talk about it too. She started it first. Because you are saying what you are saying. Don't sure. talk about it because you go to the topic first. You talk about it. Come on, let's go. Let's talk. You want to tell me about it? Not sure you, you. This one inside it. Huh? I'll be coming in two days' time. Yes, hmm? Take care of things. Yes, Father. I don't want to hear any complaint when I come back. All right, Father. Go and open the gates. Okay. Isn't it a bothering you? Yes, mother, I am worried. You see, anytime I wake up in this place, I feel disturbed. I feel like a fugitive in my mother's place. I know the ambience of Aguleri more than my father's place. I am a man who is supposed to face his fears, break bounds, stand tall in all things as the heir to the throne of Asiamuku kingdom where I belong. So, you are not alone in this feeling, but as human beings, there are certain things we intend to ignore for our existence. Your father persuaded us to be here for our lives to be preserved. So, let's wait for his call. For how long, mother? For how long? Decades upon decades we've been waiting. You're a Christian. A strong Catholic. I mean, attaching importance to this deity, whatever, is demeaning to your faith. I am not intimidated by any tradition or deity. I love your father. And I must never say no 
to his decisions. We are here for our safety. Your father has a lot to let go. He is one leg in tradition, one leg in church. He is trapped more than you and I. But I know he knows his reason for keeping us here and never ask us to come back after all these years. What I ask you, are you not, are you not angry? Like, don't you feel bad he has two wives and four children? Don't it bother you? Like, don't you miss your home? A queen will always remain a queen. Even if I am worried, it does not befit my personality to go angry or be worried about my co wives. I only pray. That someday we will go back to the palace and that glory will come back. So, son, always get yourself prepared. Do not allow your heart to be troubled. For the appropriate time, is yet to come. Up inside. I just want to beg you for something. No matter what, do not talk to my brother in that tone again. Please. He was rude to my mother. I should be the one feeling hurt here. I know. I know, but I'm just saying this because I do not enjoy this clashes going on. Whether you like it or not, if this continues, there's going to be a divide. I might be forced to pick a side. And you know what that means. So please, for my sake, okay? I don't want anything to come between us. I do not want this to affect my relationship with you. Please. It's okay, but you have to warn your brother never to use abusive words on my mother again. I will, okay? But I needed to talk to you first. I'm still going to talk to my brother, okay? Okay. Is it? You have become a huge part of my life. Oh, I can't imagine my life without you in it. You mean a lot to me. You mean the world to me. Well, whether you believe it or not, I love you. 
I cannot go a day without you. I cannot imagine my life without you in it. Well, I understand the situation and everything, but I can't help it. It is exactly how I feel inside. Is it? You have. You have become a huge part of my life. Honestly. Tilugo, I totally understand how you feel. And I cannot deny the fact that I feel the same. But you are my half sister. No matter how much we claim to love each other, we can still get married. It is an abomination. It is okay that we're saying, I mean, we sit from time to time and we get to have our fun, but. We should know when to end it. I understand that Okadike is your fiancé. And soon you both will get married. And that should be the end of this relationship. Please, let's really know when to stop. I don't want things to get out of hand. Look, I understand this is an illicit affair. I know. But the truth remains that even if I marry Okadiki, I am still going to cheat on him with you. I mean, I cannot... How, how, do I, how do I tell you this? I cannot get married, leave this palace without seeing you every day. I'm already used to you being around me, missing your face. and It's not going to be easy for me. My life is going to be so bored without you in it. So it doesn't matter whether or not I'm married, we have to keep saying, okay? Look, look, I understand you, I do, but marriage for me, it's not, it's just a fulfillment really, it's not a trap. I don't want to be trapped in marriage, I want to enjoy my life, I want to enjoy my life to the fullest. I want to live life. Little Lugo, I'm scared. The way you're going about this, this will get out of hand. And I don't want us to... I don't want us to push beyond our limits. Please, let's take this easy and know when to stop, okay? Don't let this get out of hand. Someone here. I heard voices. I'm alone. What are you? What do you mean by I'm with someone? What do you? What do you want now? Tell me. You were talking to yourself. I was meditating. I was praying as well. So. Mm -hmm. Is that why you came to my room? Mother wants to see you. Okay. Go. I am coming. But I'm sure I had to go voice. now. I'm coming. Ah, come on, don't, don't be funny. Come on, uh, go. Let me go dress up. Go, 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 go. I said I'm coming. What else? Wait, wait. You're sure you go. Ah, it lights. Go. We'll stop all this thing. I bet. Go. Let me dress up and come and see mom. I want to cancel my mom, so when I'm done, 
That night, the king could not sleep. So one was commanded to bring the book of the records of the chronicles. And they were read before the king. And it was found written that Mordecai had told of Bethany and Teresh, two of the king's eunuchs, and the doorkeepers who had sought to lay hands on the king, Azeroth. And the king said, What honor or dignity has been bestowed on Mordecai for this? And the king's servants who attended him said, I present. It's time for His Majesty to take his sacred bath. I see. Adora is here already. Yes, my princess. Um, Father, it's time for you to take your bath. I'll come back tomorrow morning to finish the story. I hope you like it. <laughs> Stay safe. The Lord will be with you. Good night, Father. Hey, yes. Good Your Majesty. <laughs> Father Dickler. Your Majesty. Is this really you? <laughs> My Come goodness. Your majesty. I'm fine, please. Sit down. You're highly welcome. Your Highness, you are looking good. You too. <laughs> it has been a while. Yes. Welcome. Yes, your so, how is your friend? Oh. His Majesty. He's fine. God bless him. He's doing fine. He sent me to you. I have no doubt about your visitation. Mm -hmm. I know he must be worried about us. Hey, perhaps this will explain it very well. 
Okay. I hope he's doing well. Well, God bless his soul. He's fine. Come oh. on. Son, come on, please come. Meet your old friend. Meet your old friend. Father Dick Lamb of St. John's Catholic Church is Yamuku Kingdom. Our kingdom. Your Highness, you mean this is Pensafana? Exactly. He's this kind of answer? Exactly. <laughs> Son, come, 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 come. God bless my soul for seeing you again. Pensafana. The son of King Gezekau for his Yamuku kingdom. Wow! The prince himself. Come again. <laughs> Your Highness. <laughs> father. I don't wear. Thank you. Thank you, son. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Um, well. Do I know you? Oh. Then you were five. Oh. I mean, five years. He's a beautiful soul. He used to buy you candies every morning after morning mass. <laughs> and he is the person that bought you your first Christian book oh. and Sacred Cross. <laughs> He's a very good friend of your father and to the royal throne. Wow. Father, thank you so much. Thank you, my son. I truly appreciate it. Good to see you again. I too for seeing you again. <laughs> uh, Mom, I have a business meeting to attend. Mm -hmm. I'll be back in an hour. It's okay. Oh, um, Father, please, I, I will be glad if you'll be here till I return. Oh, I'm not in a hurry to gain you. I will wait. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, see you people soon. Take good care of yourself. Thank you very much. Go away, All right. Go away. He's a big man now. <laughs> You're welcome once again to the land of Adler, my fatherland, Father Dekla. I am delighted to see you. Thank you, Your Highness. You're welcome. I've read the letter from my husband, your friend. It is obvious life has not been fair with him. Hmm. Tell me, why did you live with Prince Afanna? You are sudden departure from the palace. They stay back to me. Though I got a clue from his Majesty. Is it true? That the day of Ojomi River threatened to kill you and your son. Is that the fundamental reason he sent you back to your fatherland? It was not our intention. But everything started when my husband, Igwezeka, decided to build the Catholic Church for the people of Ezeamuku Kingdom. What? It has connection with the church? Very strong connection. My God. Then, my faith as a new convert was feeble and shaking. Everybody was happy that a new religion was introduced into the land. A religion that teaches love, kindness, and sweet ways to the people of Ezeama Kingdom. His Majesty, King Ezeka, my husband, loved the church so much. But hold 
strongly the custom and tradition of the land. He wanted a peaceful coexistence between the Christians and the worshippers of Ojomi deity. But one night became a night of trouble. Majesty, why are you worried? What is still in your sleep? My love, I think I like the priests that often come to the palace. I like the way he plays with our son, Havana. My love, I like him. I want to know him. I want to know his God. Everything about him. Is that why you're worried? Your Majesty, the priest is not harmful to our son. Tell me, are you giving in to his teachings about his God? My love, you may be right. So what do you intend to do? Forsake the gods of our land? The deity of Ojomi? I don't mind to serve two gods. The priest god is not harmful. From the look of things. He is friendly. I like him. And I would like to establish him here in our kingdom. Your majesty. The elders. The people. Even the deity will frown at your kindness to other gods. I know. If anything happens, take my son Afanna to your father. Stay there with him. I believe that the deity of Aguilera will protect him and nothing harm will happen to him. Your Majesty, you're beginning to scare me. Are you going to die? Are you going to leave me here on earth? Why are you sounding scary to me? Why? I am not going to die. There are things you can never understand. Secrets beyond secrets. You must not prove stubborn to my command. I believe that Abaramuni will never hurt you but me. But then, precaution is better. You scare me, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I think we have to banish that priest from our land. Why? Because he's converting our people to his gods. He's taking them to Ojomi River, claiming he's baptizing them. That is an abomination, a mockery, a disregard to the sanctity of the sacred river. We must banish him for committing such calamity. Ezeribe. Your Majesty. The priest said his God created everything we see on earth, including Ojomi, our sacred river, farmland, forest, animals of all kinds. If he is lying to me and my people, Ojomi River will have swallowed him or fight to prove a strong point. 
your majesty. Are you doubting the potency of Ojomi? Your majesty, are you saying that the God of the priest is stronger than our gods? Eh, your majesty. Ezeribe, I gave the priest authority to make due of our river as it pleases him. He is not harmful to my people. Conviction is a matter of choice. Your Majesty, you have to rethink. There is consequences to every action, Your Majesty. The prince is crossing his boundary. He is evil. Your Majesty is bad. He is worse of all them. Your Majesty, you have to see it from the perspective of our tradition and culture. Ezeribe, Your Majesty, let the spirit mind the things of spirit, and man mind the things of man. Go home and have a nice day. May His Majesty reign forever. My King, whichever decision you are trying to make that will bless the priest, I am behind you. My Queen, we have come to love the priest. I am not going to harm him. Anyone who tries to harm him will have me to contend with. I am Igwe Zegar the second. The terror that instills fear in the eyes of the spirit. I am the king. Of course you are. <laughs> You have refused to listen to the council of elders. Why do you want to inflict your tenth generation with my wrath and anger? Abaramu, why the unconventional and unscheduled meeting? Ezekiel gave you wealth. To pitch your heavens close to my river. I gave you everything. I loved and cherished you. I made you smart, brilliant, fearless, and above all, I made you a warlord. I cherished you like a mother would her own child. I made you hero at your tender age. I took away your father. So you can bring, and I gave you life in abundance. Ezeka, look around you. Your reign is noised abroad. I am the pillar of it all. Every human wants to be around you. I am the maker. I gave you more than you asked of me. Why have you chosen to betray and turn your back on me? Abaramini, heaven and earth recognize me as his royal majesty. Igwe Zeka, second of Asia Mugu Kingdom. As the custodian of the law, I do not pass degree and go against it. I stand by my existing word to say I will not go against my word. You cannot have two gods in the same kingdom. You will also have to destroy and reverse every promises you made to them so that the embargo of destruction will be lifted from your reign. Ezekiel. I 
I am the custodian of the law. Igwe Seka, second of the Isiamuku kingdom. Abarameni, you have to obey me now. I will not destroy the church so as long as they are not ample to my people. Abarameni, I gave your river a safe passage to the sea, ocean, across the universe. Abarameni, I also made your dream come true. Why are you now angry at my benevolence? The priest. Are you disobeying me? Abaramini, why are you jealous? I am more than jealous, and you have just tested my patience. Uh. You advised your husband to turn away from me. I will come back for you and your son. My king, my king. What is going on? Somebody help! Help me! Help! Help! <laughs> His Majesty woke up the next morning, dumb and stroked. He instructed the guards to take my son and I to the land of our glory, my fatherland. I tried refused leaving him in such shocking and overwhelming condition. But he wrote a series of reasons why I had to leave. So I did not abandon my husband as people rumored. Some even said, we are dead, but we are alive. This is serious. But why did His Majesty hit all this from me all these years? Well, he told me to tell you to come back home. I read everything he wrote on the letter. Do not be afraid, Your Highness. You are meant to be courageous in a time like this. So, how is the family? Hmm. One of the sons. Prince Jamike, the first son of the second wife, Lola Chalugo, he says Kaliwag. He barred me from entering the palace. I am yet to understand why the young man detests my presence. I worry so much. He doesn't behave royal. Anyways. No one can rewrite destiny. Um, please send my words to His Majesty. Tell him that I will come after the lengthy period. Thank you, Your Highness. Your Highness, I will have to take my leave. May the good Lord bless you. Bless you too, Father. Please have a safe trip. My regards to our family. Can we do that? Thank you. Is that
Why are you not going close to your father? Why are you running away from him? Why should I, mother? I have nothing to discuss with him. Listen, son. Let me tell you a secret. Your father is not pleased with Chamiki and his mother. This is an opportunity to go close to him so that he can make you his best son. Are you not seeing your sister Delight? Mother, please don't compare me with Delight. I am Eziafa. We both have our separate lives to live. I am not interested in the throne if that is what you are driving at. Oh, don't be silly. You must be interested. You must be. You have to adapt a new life by going close to your father. And stop sleeping with everything that puts on skirts in this palace. Mother, daddy is sick. He retakes me. I can't even withstand this condition for a second. Soon, your father will join his ancestors. And you'll be left with nothing. Think about it. Mother, I am going back to Eziamufu Kingdom where I am meant to dwell in Mot Agulay. I am done with this fantasy. I need to go take care of my sick dad. You don't understand. I don't need to understand, Mom. I am done understanding. I need to go back to my fatherland. I don't want anything to happen to you. A Jomi goddess is a deadly goddess. She hates me. She believed I advised your father to build the Catholic Church in the land. Where is your faith? Where is your faith as a Christian? You're scared of a goddess. Mother, get prepared. We are going back to Eziamuku Kingdom, my fatherland. Period. Son. You look great. Good. This one you paid us unexpected visit. I hope his majesty is fine. Oh, absolutely. He's perfect. As perfect as always. Nothing is everything is okay. <coughs> Praise be to the gods. Um, um I um what do I find No you? no no, it's 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 okay, trust me. I don't want anything. I'm just here to see your daughter. Your your, your daughter Dora. Adora? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. I hope all is well. Oh, nothing. I mean, it's you have nothing to worry, okay? okay. Go and call your daughter for. <laughs> Let me call her. Oh. All right. Uh, my princess. Adara! So, uh, it's everything. Adara! Oh, come on, please. Okay, you come. don't need to panic. You don't you. need to be scared, okay? I mean, you know how bored I get sometimes. I don't have friends and. I'm actually looking for one. So, she could just be the one for me. I'm here to have a conversation with her, you know, girl to girl talk. Princess, that girl is my only child. 
my daughter. My mother, everything. <laughs> I know, right? It's yeah. okay. Look at you. Okay, my How are you, Adora? I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, the princess wants to see you. Yes, um, as a matter of fact, you know, I was just having a conversation with your father before you came in. I am here to see you. Please, you don't have to panic, okay? I come in peace, alright? I, you know, I'm bored and you know I don't have friends. So basically, this is me just searching for a friend that, you know, I can con converse with and confide in at the same time, so... Um, I would really like us to go somewhere to sit out and hang out if you don't mind. Uh, <laughs> is that a yes? Oh, absolutely. I'm um, sorry, if you don't mind, would you change into something better? Because we will be sitting out. Mm? Okay, my princess. Mm? <laughs> Look at you, so beautiful. Um... Oh no, <laughs> your daughter is in the safe hands, okay? You have nothing absolutely to worry about. I'm going to bring her back in good time, okay, before nightfall. I believe you, princess. You're welcome. Do you like the place? Yes, I'm Oh, I'm glad. Oh. Chinelo? Uh-huh. My princess, you called me. What would you have? Nothing. Oh, what do you mean nothing? I mean you are you're here in my palace and it is my duty to entertain you. You're my friend now, you know. Hmm? I just um I needed to move it up and be very relaxed and comfortable around me. Because I'm I'm your friend. Okay? So all I need you to do is just to feel free. Relax your mind. I mean, you have nothing to worry about. Okay? So, what can I offer you? Um, Alright, my princess. Uh, I want to eat white bold yam. Just, just white yam. You've got to be kidding me. White yam. <laughs> My goodness. Do you know where you are? This is the palace restaurant. Here we have abundance in, I mean, all manner of food. From continental to local dishes. So you just name it. Anything you want. Okay? <laughs> Don't be shy. Alright, my princess. Um, let her get me on chilled water. I'll be fine. Chinelo, please get me a plate of chips and chicken and of course on chilled water. So like I said to you earlier, I just want a friend. I just want you as my friend. I know I'm the princess, yeah, but I do not have friends. So I need you to just, you know, just, just feel free. Okay? I'm a very nice person. I'm very simple and humble. Alright? Die. Go ahead.
is in. Are you aware I'm the heir to the throne of his Yamubu kingdom? Yes, my prince. You're aware. So you know I have the power and authority to demote you. To banish you. Make your life an unbearable one. All I ask you is kill my father. Kill the king. I'm sorry my prince. May God forbid that I take the life of His Majesty. Shut up. Shut that stupid thing you call mouth. What do you know? You dare talk back at me? Have you lost it? Are you mad? Who is the king? That one that stinks. That imbecile. He can't even sit on the throne. He's useless. Which means you have to kill him so that I become king. You must kill him tonight. Else, you leave me with no other option than to kill you. You'd rather do it now. I will not kill His Majesty. My name is Enyeze, a friend of a king. A true friend does not kill a true friend. Let it be known in the history of abominable people. Let it be heard. Let it be told that I serve His Majesty with my life, my blood, and everything in me. Great speech. True enemies kill their various enemies. And let it be known that I end their new life. Lie down. Lie down! Did I hear you say calm down? Calm down for what? Huh? And yes, I refused to kill father. I gave him a direct order. You have no idea the kind of anger in me right now. You have no idea the kind of rage I possess right now. What boldness? What boldness does he have to decline your order? What boldness? Don't worry, my son. There are so many ways to kill a rat. Don't harm any say. He is trained to lay down his life for the king. I will make him an offer that no man can reject. Yes, he will not decline my kind offer. And you know what? Your sister and all of us are trying something that we will surely succeed. Yes. Every time I close my eyes, I see myself on the throne already with my subjects bowing down before me and licking my feet. Why is it not coming to pass, mother? Don't worry, my son. You will sit on that throne. I can see you there already. I feel it. Relax. Sit down. Sit. Your mother is in charge. Sit. Wow. 
from where I'm going to. This way. We move. Yes, we move. See this dress. Hey, Mama, you need to see me on this gown. So fine, Mama. This is so good. So nice. Mama, guess what? This clothes are so beautiful. Mama. You mean she bought it for you? Mama, she bought everything for me. I'm so happy. Mama, guess what? She's even coming to take me out. Huh? We're going to meet her friends. Ozoka. Mama, after, again? After chilling with the princess. Hey, Mama, wait, 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 wait. Let me show you this one. Hey! Mama, oh! I am now chilling with the princess. Mama, see, Mama. Mama, see this dress. Come on. Mama, see. How, how, how come she suddenly turned turn nice to you? How come? Mama, me, I don't know. But, honestly speaking, Princess Turubo is very nice. She's so nice. I really enjoyed myself. Mama, wait now. Let me show you this shoe. Hey, hey! Mama, see me. Mama, look at the shoe. Hey! But, oh. come on. Mama. Wait. Did she ask you for anything? Did, did, did she? Are you sure? No, she didn't. Mama, wait now. They are not, see, they are not finished. See, see, see. Hey! Mama, see this dress. Mama, look at me. Yo. I am not chilling with the princess. Mama, you know what? Let me go inside and wear them for you to see. <laughs> Mama! I'm coming! I'm I can look at you. I command you to look at me now. You're handsome. 
Jackson. Young and so energetic. Full of life. And I can feel your heartbeat ready for me. So why don't you just come to my bed and have me all to yourself. And that will be our little secret. I'm sorry my queen. I can't live with the king's wife. You are afraid. I can see it in your eyes. Huh? I know you want me just as much as I want you. Don't worry, it's just the two of us in this room, okay? So come. Come and satisfy me. Come on. Come on. I know you want it. Come. Come. Come have me. Come and enjoy the royal body of your queen. Come on. I'm sorry, my queen. I beg to take my leave. Do you realize I'm your queen? And I can accuse you of trying to rape me if you don't do what I say. Come over here. The girls will vindicate me. I don't intend to speak angrily on you, my queen. I'm sorry. This is 10 million naira for you. Kill the king and live with the money. I promise I will get you a two place in London, Spain, Australia, Mexico. Any of this city. I'll do it. Just kill the king. Make him live this earth. So that my son can rule the land. Okay. Have it. Come on. Have it. It's all yours. Who is this boy? How dare he refuse my offer? Who is he? Be with the king. And uh, why are you panting? It's, it's, it's not in my queen. Where is the light? She's with the majesty, my queen. Are you sure you're all right? Yes, I'm fine. I'm okay. You may go. Mother, he is not a man. He is clearly not a man. Otherwise, what manner of a man would resist such a pretty woman? Plus the money offered. Plus apartment overseas. Hey, what are you telling me? Mother, he is impotent. He is impotent! You can't tell me otherwise. He gave me the shock of my life. I still can't believe that he declined my attractive offer. I thought I could break him. Mother, I just wish I could try him. But can we just stop talking about him already? Enough. How about Adora? 
How far have you gone with her? Well, so far so good. I mean, she's coming around gradually. Mm, she's compressing, if you ask me, but I do not want to rush her. Because first of all, I need her to trust me. Okay, so all I need now is time and patience. But that's the problem here. I don't have time, I don't have patience. I have this urge. This compelling urge burning inside of me. It's squeeze, Father. That's all I want to do right now. Bro, we're clearly on the same page, okay? But you have to calm down. Calm down. Everything is not gra gra. Calm down. All right? We are going to get there. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. I do not take steps. I move with speed. Good night. To be frank with you, I am no longer comfortable with Princess Turugo's constant visit to this house. Hmm? My spirit does not accept her anymore. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I'm no longer comfortable with her visit. Me too, Nai. Yes. But uh, I think. Uh, Princess Turugo doesn't have any bad intention concerning our daughter. It is not about harming our daughter. I think something is fishing. Mm -hmm. Definitely something is fishing in the palace. Nay, are you suspecting something? Curiosity. A lot on my head. Just as clear as the lines in my palms. Mm -hmm. It is crystal clear that Prince Jamike does not like his father's continuous living in this world. No choir. I chose Hey, Aro. And uh, I know that uh, if he is no longer happy with his father alive, I don't think his sister Turugo will like it either. Iti yanai. So that is serious war in the palace. Hey! So good. Serious problem in the palace. There are certain questions to ask in particular way. Certainly. There must be questions. Jama gives a tongue on Hugo's flesh. Hey! It's a trouble to everybody. Hey! this world and met him like this. So why are you here acting as if you're new to his condition? After all, he didn't call you to come here and keep him company. So if you're not comfortable here, you can as well get out. Get out! Will you shut up your dirty mouth, you fool? Who do you think you're talking to? Are you mad? You are an imbecile. And if I don't shut up, what do you think you can do? Mr. 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 
For His Majesty to take his sacred bath. Please, can you leave? You are the bigger fool, imbecile. My princess, please. I didn't mean to disrespect you like that. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Please. It won't happen again, I promise. Have a good night rest. May the angels guide you.
You will not die this way. You will not go this way. Father, I am here for you. Let me be your life, your strength, your everything. I love you so much, Dad. Please, don't leave us. I love you. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Mother, I had a horrible dream. A horrible dream? Yes. It was so real. My father wanted to kill himself. But I intervened. He wanted to jump into Ujumi River. I stopped him. Mother, there is trouble in the land. I need to go back to Asia Mubu Kingdom. My father will be happy to see me. I really need to go back to my fatherland. Besides, I saw you talking from both sides of your mouth. 
Is it not too early for you to be drunk now? Oh. Eh? Must you drink every day, Ukonta? Your name is affecting you badly. Eh? Is That is why you are giving me now so that more Oh no, let me tell you. If you like, give me another pound wine to replace this one. Bam! I will take it. But you cannot stop me from telling you the truth. See, if you like, avoid everybody. If you like, avoid the truth. Oh no, but you cannot avoid the doom that is coming to you. And your household. Yes! Am I afraid of you? Eh? Blind or no? Eh? Come and beat me now. Am I afraid of you? Cut away you. What are you talking? What am I talking about? Hmm? Nine. What did you do to Okonta? Hmm? Eh? Okonta? Hmm? Why are you insulting my husband? Uh -huh. Did he offend you? Exactly! That is the question. Yes! He has offended everybody. See, I was supposed to come here two days ago. But I went to my maternal home for a burial. No, eh, eh, what am I talking about? I went for a burial ceremony. See, you need to see Kubana's twin brother. Cha! See money raining. See money everywhere. Eh? I took pound wine that I passed out. Passed in. And pass away. Must you continue to drink? Yeah, Neka. Hmm? Words of, of drunks are not taken seriously. Just like words of madmen. As he's trying to say this one, he will talk about the other one. Oh no. God bless my mother's people. Yes. See. Let me tell you, if you like, say Okonta is a drug. You see this, your virgin daughter, that is looking at me. What did I say? Your virgin here. Oh no, you know virgins are supposed to be like this. I am talking of your daughter who is a virgin. Don't go there. Oh no, listen to me. Don't interrupt me before I, I change my mood. Oh no! You don't know who is petting your back. No! You carry clay pot and put on white cloth up and down. Eh? You! Let me advise you. Eh? That the palace is not pleased with your sacred duties. Just go there, do your work, and go back home. Clear. Because, eh, ha, you're a lifeline to the Igwe. But if you pretend to be intact, I mean intact, Hi! Ha ha ha! And Amadioha! Together! What am I talking about? No! Ojomi and Amadioha in collab! <laughs> we fire! What are they firing? What am I talking about? They will kill you! Yes! Oh no! I'm going! Oh no! And I'm. We move! We move. Oh, we move. Oh, we move. Okay. Look at him. You are celebrating. Did you hear what he said? Did you hear him? Who? What who said? What a almost like a madman said. This man has a scattered head. He's not coordinated, so he cannot say anything reasonable. So let's go ahead and celebrate what happened. Don't mind the contact. He's a drunk. Hmm.
Adora, what are you doing with Princess Turugo? Mama, I'm not doing anything with the princess. I'm not doing anything, anything with Princess Turugo. I hope you heard what Okonta said. Okonta might be drunk and silly, but the gods might also be using him to send strong message. Better tell me the truth now. Better tell me the truth now. What are you doing with Princess Turugo? Mama. What? Mama, honestly speaking, I'm not, I'm not doing anything with the princess. She only likes me, that's all. Mm. I, I don't understand why you're pestering. Ah, you don't understand why I'm pestering? Yes, Mama. I'm not pestering you, eh? Okay. Are you a virgin? Are you still a virgin? Mama. Are you still a virgin? Answer me! Now listen, I don't understand you anymore. If you don't tell me the truth, I might commit something. In fact, I might commit a sin here. Tell me the truth. Are you still a virgin? Mama. I don't trust you anymore. I don't. Even one bit, I don't trust you. Follow me, I want to go and check you. Mama. Now follow Mama, me. Mama, I don't know that this, this stuff is painful. Mama, I don't like this thing you're doing. You know? It's not fair. I don't like it. I don't even want to do what you like. Follow me. I want to go and check you. I no longer believe you. You want to put this in your mouth? I don't know. This is not fair. Not Are you following me now or not? Have you thought deeply about my offer? No, my queen. You're a fool. Anise, what is your price? I am ready to give you more than my previous offer. I can make it 20 million, 30 million, 40, just name your price. You know I'm capable of doing anything. Name your price. My queen, I just want this majesty to live forever. How dare you mock me? How dare you mock me? Are you mad? Do you know who you're talking to? What is there? What is there to just kill an imbecile? What is there? You bloody fool. Now get out! Stop! Anyone hears our conversation, I'll kill you. You understand? Okay, my queen. Okay. Shut up! Do you know why I'm doing all of that for you? Like giving you gifts and showing you love? No, my princess. Well, that's because, um, that's because you are my friend. Mm? And, oh, chess first, baby. Chess. <laughs> yeah, to friendship. And aside being my friend, you are a loyal person. I mean, your services to my father in this palace, it's undeniable. And then the way you go about carrying on with your duties, you know, it's admirable. <laughs> Thank you, my princess. Ah, you're welcome. 
you are a virgin and I'm glad because that your virginity is of utmost importance to my father his royal majesty wow <laughs> let me ask you this question I mean if you don't mind me asking this is me just being curious okay what are the consequences of his royal majesty not taking his spiritual bath I'm, I'm sorry my princess you know I'm not meant to disclose some sacred information to anyone drink up see it's really nothing okay I was just asking you because we're friends and as friends, um, for more. Go on, go on. <laughs> as my friend, we're just having a conversation and I just thought I should know out of curiosity. Well, it's okay if you don't want to talk about it, trust me, it's fine, okay? It's really nothing. It's nothing. It's okay, trust me. It's, I mean, <laughs> this is us just being friends, right? Mm? <laughs> Am I right or wrong? <laughs> Good. Right. That means we're good, right? I'm so sorry. I mean, if you do not want to talk about it, there's no pressure whatsoever. I'm not going to force you to say what you don't want to say, okay? This is us just having a conversation as friends, and that's it. You know, it's amazing. Like, you know, you being a virgin and not eating certain kind of foods and participating in some social activities. I mean, I, I, don't get me wrong. I admire it. Absolutely. Are you alright? Um... <laughs> Everything going okay? You want some more drink? Drink up, darling. Drink it up. Drink up. <laughs> yes, darling. No, it's okay. Drink up. Let's go. Come on. It's nothing. Just finish it up. Let's go. Drink up. Drink up. Let me take you home, okay? <laughs> yeah. Go, 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 go. <laughs> mm, uh huh. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Now and fast. Okay, my business. No mistakes. Okay. okay? Yes, my business. No mistakes. Yes, my okay. Yes, my business. Look, Adora. Adora, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you. Hmm? Look at me. I promise you, I am going to find that person who did this to you. Hmm? It is a promise. I am going to do everything within my power to make sure that I find that person, even if it's the last thing I do. Okay? I promise you. It's a promise I'm making to you today. Alright? Alright? Okay. Um, are you still bleeding? No, my princess. Okay. But I'm very weak. I can no longer come to the palace anymore. My service is over. Yeah. If my princess, my mother will kill me. My father would disown me if he finds out that I was raped in the palace. They warned me. They want me to stay away from you. My princess, why? Why would you have to do this to me? Uh, Adora, what do you mean what do you mean by that? Why 
why I did this to you? Like, you seriously think this is intentional? I mean, come on. This was unintended. I mean, how, how can I just deliberately want to hurt you? You're my friend. You're my friend and I'm not capable of, of, of such. Okay, please. I did nothing to you. All right, it was it was a mere accident. It was unintended, never on purpose. I didn't plan this. I feel bad for you myself, quite frankly. Please, just calm down. I know how you feel right now, but pull yourself together. And as for your services in this palace, come on, whoever told you it's over. I mean, it's not. Nobody has to know. Do you want to go about telling everyone that you're no longer a virgin? I mean, you wouldn't want to do that to yourself. You don't need to tell anyone about it. Just keep pretending to be the virgin that you have always been. And that's it. And you can continue to perform your duty to my father. And nobody will find out. Sooner than later, everything will work out itself. I am going to find whoever is behind this. I already promised you that. And I'm repeating it. I will find the person. My princess. Yes. His majesty will die. His body will get rotten if I do so. I am disqualified. I am no longer worthy to fetch the sacred water anymore. <laughs> Look. Look. Adora. Adora, chill. Okay? His majesty will not die. Alright? I mean, how can you be so gullible? They just put all of the stories in your head to make you feel some sort of way. That's not true. Listen to me. Those are mere superstitions. They are mere beliefs. Alright? You continue to pretend to be the virgin that you were and everything will be fine. Is that okay? Hmm? Look. Here. Here. Hmm? This is for you. Okay? Keep this to yourself. Alright? Look at me. Look at me. Come on. Come on. Keep this to yourself. Tell no one about this. Okay? Whatever happened today, Adora, come on. I need you to pay attention because it's very important. So you don't go ruining everything. Whatever happens today stays with us. I mean you and I. Alright? Everyone is caught their own secrets. I mean little secrets. This is our own secrets. Hmm? Say this to no one. Alright? Alright? Do you do you look, look at me. Do you understand me? Hmm? Yes. Say this to no one. Okay. Chin up, wipe your tears. Hmm? You go now, the guards will come pick you up for your next hmm? for your next duty to my father. Okay? Okay? Alright. Um don't forget. Don't tell anyone about this or do you understand? Do you understand? Adora, stop crying. Do you understand? Alright. Hmm? You take care. Chin up, chin up, chin up. Chin up. Good. Mm -hmm. Good girl. If I Cheers to a beautiful, better Cheers. future. Cheers, yes. mommy. <laughs> <laughs> it can only get better. Mm, better. Yeah. Bro. Mm. Yeah. Mother. Mm. Everything went according to plan. Mm -hmm. Goodness, you needed to have been there. Mommy, she was crying like a baby. Mm. Oh. 
Oh, I'm doomed. My own is finished. I'm no longer a virgin. His body will get rotten. He's gonna die. <laughs> like seriously, who cares? <laughs> Isn't that the mission? My beautiful sister. Brotherly. Ever dazzling. Brotherly. I knew I could always count on you. I know, right? <laughs> For a job well done, I am going to give you a remarkable reward. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Finally, we made it. We made it. Wow. I think I'm not a We made it. 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 Bro, take care. Mm. Ow. You sent for me, my princess. Yes, I did. Inyeze. My princess. Have you noticed the difference in the king's skin recently? It's peeling. What could possibly be the reason for that? I really don't know my princess. Okay, I want you to send a word to Dr. Philip. You should come immediately and check what the problem is. Okay, my princess. Urgently, oh, please hurry. Okay, my princess. Is that supposed to be a big deal? Isn't that why you're here? Or you expect us to... Someone else please speak. I'm sorry, my prince. But it's my duty to pray for the quick recovery of his majesty. His skin is deteriorating. And Dr. Philip cannot find any solution to this new development. It's a great concern to the church and the kingdom at large. Father, thank you. You have not done anything bad praying for our Father, His Majesty. As you all know, his condition is beyond medical treatment. So he needs all the prayers he can get at this time. Pastor Delight, no one is asking you not to pray for him. All right? You are not the only daughter that he has. Besides, we're all praying for him in our own ways. Dear sister, <laughs> nobody is stopping you from praying for our father. I mean no harm, okay? Father, like I said before, thank you for praying for our father. Continue to say those prayers and book mass for him, for his quick recovery. It's all right. Um, I think since this sickness has defied every orthodox medical treatment, I will now proceed to invite you came by the great traditional healer yes. into this situation. Yes. Invite another God. We already have someone here. His God has not been able to heal our father. And then you want to bring in another God. Huh? Oh no. My friends, you don't seem to understand my motive. We're all on the same page. Eh? Go ahead and say your prayers where I go traditional way. Yes, yes, I know it never fails us. And then make my palace a war front, a battleground, clash of gods. You come with your god, he comes with his. <sighs> Do not say anything again. Next, please. Jamiki. Huh? Why am I having this feeling about you not interested in making sure His Majesty bounces back to his feet? My goodness. Just when you are given an opportunity to make sense, you sound baseless. You are stupid in the head. Who the hell do you think you are? Eh, Jamiki? Who raised you? Excuse me. How dare you open your mouth to utter such stupid utterance? How dare you? Why, Why? are this? Because I 
daughter, it's okay. Jamie, okay, please, I will not have you speak to my mother like that. No, oh, it's okay. Don't try it. It's mother, okay, everybody, it's okay. So calm down. down. Calm down. Let's let's, 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 let's Don't let's try it again, Jamie. Don't uh, ever. Oh no, I think you have to question your daughter, Adora. Yes, you have to question her purity. Ojumi River is a healing river. It cures all kinds of skin irritation and even leprosy. So why is it that the water that's supposed to make His Majesty whole is now causing damage and pains, not just pains. Onesi can be. Oh yes, oh yes. There must have to be a way that the water entered the coconut. Mm -hmm. Something is definitely wrong somewhere. Huh? No. Oh my dear, a bit messy. Bow up, you walk. No, do the not. Do the needful. Yes or no? You have to do the needful. Ask questions. Hmm? Let us go. Okay. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Mm. How would I warn you never to set foot into this palace again? Praise Jamie Of correction. High tension! Prince! High tension! May I remind you that I am a priest of God, ordained in the order of Melchizedek by the Roman Catholic priesthood. It is bad in the sight of God and man that a mere mortal like you will confront a harmless priest in a reckless manner. What is the problem? Does my coming to the palace cause you any harm? Or do you just hate me for no reason? Is it possible for you to just shut up? Is that you violate my rule? I said, do not set foot into this palace again. Yeah. See if that is not enough. You call me reckless. Tell your God that you are not welcome into this palace. I will not warn you again. Young man, have been part of this palace before you were born. When your mother was just a palace maid. There's some truth you need to know. <sighs> Honestly, you have got. You stand before me, insult my mother that she was once a maiden in this palace. Now get out. He's a naked wire, but who are you? Who are you? Call him Prince High Tension. Prince High Tension. Uh huh. Prince High Tension. Oh go, oh go. Prince High Tension. I say it again. Prince High Tension. Oh no, Prince High Tension. Clear the way for him. Mora, you go. The frequency is high. He want to be the king by all means. He want
Are you still a virgin? Answer me! Or have you suddenly become deaf and dumb? Papa, I do not understand what you are saying. Adora, a kadikachi Are you still in the state of purity? Now, what kind of question are you asking her? If she is not, we should be performing her duty to his highness. That is it, woman. That is the problem. The water she fetches has become poisonous to the king's body. If you doubt it, go to the palace and see the king. See the state of his health. My daughter, what happened? Mama, I don't know. I have been performing my duty. Besides, I know the consequences if I, if I do anything stupid with my pride. Good! You know the consequences. But before then, I bet you, if I found out that you are losing for the rest in the palace, I will behead you and bury your body behind the backyard. Nay, how could you say a thing like that? God forbid, not my daughter. Then one has to know what to do now. I will not spare her. But she's I will not spare you. Get out of here. Hey. The Adora, they are still a virgin, right? Yeah, yes, Mama. Haven't you confirmed it yourself? So, who else is aware that he is sick? His Majesty, my Prince. So, aside my father, no one knows about his illness. Yes, my Prince. Excuse us.
happens when me and my dreams farewell father farewell he's a naked wire but who are you who buy you Call up Prince High Tension Prince High Tension uh -huh. Prince High Tension oh, 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 oh. Prince High Tension I say it again Prince High Tension oh, not sure. Prince High Tension Clear the way for him for I go The frequency is high he want to be the king by all means. He want to rule the kingdom by all means. Father, I got the holy water. Get me a glass. Hurry up. Father, get up and drink. Father, get up and drink. Father. My princess, his majesty is sleeping. Sleeping with his eyes open. Mm. This can be good. Father. 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 Father! You can't leave me happy. Her voice is getting louder. I think all is not well with my father. Excuse me? What are you doing? You can't ruin this moment. What's your problem? My father, your husband, might be dead. And you don't care? Really? You will all die someday. Come back here. Excuse me. Wait, is there for wait? Behold the new king. Behold Igwe Jamiki. Alfred Ezeka the third. Mm. Mission accomplished. Great. It has finally happened. I heard it loud and clear. Hey! Igwe Zekana! It's your hand. Don't conclude yet. Let us go to the palace and see what is happening. Yes. But we all heard the Ikoro. You can't be very sure. He might wake up again. Let us go. Let's go at once. Ha! <laughs> Nietzsche! Hey! Nietzsche! Why are they running like a mountain of fire? No, uh, there is fire on the mountain. Eh? 
useless cabinet members. Eh? Look at them. Am I calling them cabinet? Look at their uniform like ritualist. Uh, no, cut, cut this. What am I talking about? Eh? I personally told the Igwe by writing eh, that he should make me the only owner who, and his confidant. No, they did not even reply. Did they reply me? What am I talking about? Eh? They will just hear the Ikoro and they will be running kiki kiki, running kata kata. They can't even drink water and drop cup. Look how the thing goes. Eh? Useless cabinet members. Thank God you are not even going my way. Rabbi! Hey, look! Hey. Keep running! Keep running! Thank God you are not running towards my direction. Not quite long we left the palace. Now, look at what we have come to see. Well, hey, yes, sir. Oh, no. Please tell us. How did it happen? Onuwa was not in the palace when it happened. According to Ikenna, the guard in his chamber. His Majesty slept, but couldn't wake up. Princess Delight and Ikenna tried waking him, only to discover him dead. Hey! of the Lord be upon you all. Why the Ikoro sound? The Ikoro. How can you find it? Ikoro is a card the second of the Jamuku Kingdom. It's no more. Father Declan, your friend is gone. You are free to go in and pray for his soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want him to go disturb the dead? Hey, I understand that your God is everywhere. Stay right there and pray for him. Uh, Jamika, you don't have the right to tell the priest where to pray from. Just like you don't have the freaking right to talk back at me. I am still the first child of this family. Let me tell you, bro. You might be the first son, but you're not yet the king. So stop getting over your head. What is going on here? Father Declan, you are free to go in and see your dead friend, His Majesty. Father, well, I'm not trying to oppose you, but why would you want to disturb the dead? Father, just let us mourn in peace. I just lost my father. I'm pained. I'm so broken. Just let me mourn my father in peace, please. Do not give me the impression that you people gladdens in our pain. Enyeze. Yes, Lolo. As the wife of His Majesty, Igweze Katu of Eziyama Kuku Kingdom, I command you to take Father Declan to go see the remains of his bosom friend. Let me see who will intercept my order. Okay, Lolo. Mm. Father. Dikana. He's going, he's going to hold you here now. Daddy, Daddy, The prince might wake our Iwe again. Let's wait and see. Prince Jamike is frustrated. He wants to be the Iwe by all means. <laughs> Father. Oh, my father! <laughs> 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 
Is so short like this. Mm. I'm certain His Majesty has not told them about Uju and his son. I can't believe that he's gone. Oh, my father. Oh, my father. Just yesterday, I gave you the same warning. What are you doing here? My son. I! I! I am not your son. What are you doing here? You can't exempt me from the palace. My bosom friend, your father, the Igwe of Eziamoku Kingdom, is resting with his ancestors. And you want to restrict me? From praying for his soul? I see you're one of the fools working tirelessly to frustrate me from my dreams of becoming the next king of his Yamoku kingdom. Let me warn you for the very last time. You are treading on the wrong path. Priest, be careful. I can see that the truth is hidden from you. I want you to Excuse me. Why this Let this be the last time he sets foot into this palace. Have I made myself clear? Yes, my prince. Good.
Yes. Our queen. You're welcome. My prince. Oh, no. My prince, my prince, you're welcome. Hey. Zeri Bear. My prince. Who are these comedians? Meet Queen Ujumwa, the first wife of Igwe Zeka, the second of Asia Mugu Kingdom. Prince Avana, the first son and the heir apparent to the throne of Asia Mugu. I should have known better, Zeriba is not feeling too well today. Perhaps you came to visit my father. The way to the visitor's quarters is at the back here. Yeah, you come here. Take these people to the visitor's quarters. When we need them, you go get them. You get me? You understand? Good. So, it's the other way. Oh, no. My prince. Take me to my father. Please come along one time. Hey! Hey, I am the happiest man on earth. <laughs> uh, yes, to see Lola Ujumwa again and her son Afana. I knew it would happen. I definitely knew that they will come back to this kingdom. So I am very happy. <laughs> I am happy. <laughs> Uh, My elders, uh, <laughs> me too, I'm very happy. Uh, <laughs> mm. Things are beginning to get interesting here. Uh, Prince Jamike will know the difference between six and half a dozen. <laughs> Those is egos and pride will be deflated like a helpless balloon. Uh, <laughs> yes. I am worried. Why the prince could not wake his majesty up again? Not all this nonsense that we are saying here. My worry is that. Uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe it is the right time for his majesty to join his ancestors. Huh? Uh, you know what life is. We have to go back yes. to where we came from. You may be right. Mm. Let him go and rest. That man has really suffered. Oh! Suffered. Oh. Go 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 go. I think the best thing is for him to go and rest. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let us go. So, this is the time for Prince Jamike. Like you rightly said, let him prove himself now. Uh -huh. The ball is now in his court. Let us know what he can do. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> it is time to prove it. Mm -hmm. Walk. Mm -hmm. Let us see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true. Okay. Wow. No. Somebody tell me this is not happening. None of you. You were once the maid in this palace. You never said a word. You never told me. Father Dickens said that you were a maid in this palace. Really? He said that to humiliate me, to make me feel like a fair prince. No! Don't say that, my son. You're not a fair prince! I'm not a field prince. He wants to. He wants to mock me. He wants to humiliate me. He wants to embarrass me. But I'll tell you one thing, mother. I have had enough of his excesses. He says this to preach today. Mother, that you were an ex maid is not even my problem. But for crying out loud, you should have told us about them. They are royals. Rumor had it that she died long ago with her son. Long time ago before you were born. I never knew it was a mere rumor. 
Besides, it's irrelevant to talk about it. Nothing! Brother. Nothing is irrelevant! Most especially history! History are meant to be taught! You should have told me! Now the dead is back from the grave! You and I know what we did before I succeeded in taking Father Strong. Now, some dead came back all in the name of a crown prince! Have him to contend with, have the elders to contend with, have everyone to contend with because of your carelessness and negligence. Now let me tell you something, mother. No human born of a woman will take the throne from me. No one! Mother, my brother is absolutely right on this one. I mean, of all the information in this world to keep, you chose to keep an information as vital as this? Come on, mother. What are we going to do about them? Can you see how calm and how fearless they look? These people came prepared. What are we going to do? Ujumwa. No one can stop the moving train. No one. We have come so far. Neither you nor your son can overthrow my position. No, I won't let it happen. No! No! You have just... You have just drawn the battle line! Uju is alive. Hey. She was never dead with her son. Gosh. Mother, are they from the royal family? Yes. That is the daughter of Igwe Azubike Adolphus. The famous Azubike from Agulele Kingdom. Exactly. I was her personal maid here in the palace. Mm. Quite interesting. Will you shut up your mouth? Hey. So Father Declan knew about them all this while and kept it away from us. Maybe Father asked him to keep it a secret till he joins his ancestors. Well, I think I like them. Eziafa, you need to sit up this time, for the looming war is advancing heavily. Mother, what are you talking about? What war? How? Ujumwa cannot stop us this time. They will never stop me. You will be the next Igwe of this kingdom. Please, can I say something? You have absolutely nothing to say about this. No, Mother, he has something to say. What has come over you? Why are you trying to impose what is not his right on him? I mean, he is our father's last son. I am not interested in any throne. I just want to be a free man. Will you shut up your mouth? What do you know? Tell me, what do you know? Now listen to me. You will do as I have told you. Is that clear? Mother, you seem not to get it. I am not interested in any throne. I am okay with the way I am. I want to just be a free man. Being a king, which I am not interested in, it's like a cage to me. Then you'd rather be in that cage because you will fight your way to the throne. Mother, you're just trying to fight a lost battle. Isiafa is not the crown prince. He can never be the king. You're just trying to cause a necessary problem in the palace. Next time you challenge me in this palace, I will teach you a lesson you will never forget in a hurry. Now shut that your mouth. I am talking to your brother. And her brother just declared not interested in the throne. We shall see whether you'll be interested or not. Wait, what is mother trying to do? You can ask Sky yourself. As for me, I am not interested in any throne. I am okay with where I am. He 
<laughs> Wonder shall never cease in this palace. So his majesty has this kind of beautiful family. The prince is so handsome, good looking, and sweet. I'm dripping already. He must be very stupid. We are here discussing about the war that is about to elude the kingdom. Oh, and you are talking about the prince. Do you think Prijamike will leave the throne for him? He has been recognized already. Even the elders of this community attested to it. So Prince Jamike should quietly lose his nose. As for me, I am in support of this new prince. He deserves the throne of Asiamoku Kingdom. He is so tall, cute, good looking and handsome. I don't know what you're saying, no. As for me, hmm. I support him. As for me, I think I like him and his mother. They are so calm, intelligent, and highly preserved. Hmm. Okay, oh. we'll watch and see how things unfold. As for me, I'll see the end of it. I welcome you once again to your kingdom, Prince Afan. I'm delighted you are here. Thank you so much, Father Declan. I am honored. Thank you. I'm so happy that you and your mother are here. It gladdens my heart. That is what His Majesty always wanted. We have a lot to talk about. A lot. It's all right, Father. I am here now. Thank you, Father. Thank you for revealing this to us. I am happy to have my big stepbrother here with us. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Delight. I appreciate it. His car is parked at the Royal Garage. Black spider with plate number ATN 191 EW. What did I say? ATM 191 EW. W. W. Gotcha. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. What did I say? Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Gabriel fool. You must not be seen anywhere close to him. Why, if I may ask, mother? He is my stepbrother. I mean, my big brother. Now listen and listen, God. You must not be seen anywhere close to him. You have to team up with me and your brother to make sure he sits on that throne. Is that clear? No, mother, it is not clear because I would do no such thing. You and I know that. Iziava is the least in this royal household. He can't possibly be the king when Afana is here. It's not possible. Uh -uh. Now I know that you are a fool. Yes, you must be a fool to utter such nonsense from your mouth. Now, who told you it is by seniority? Mother no all. Who told you? Now listen. I do not want to see you anywhere close to him. We are family. You are supposed to be on our side. If I see you anywhere close to him again, you will see the other side of me. Nonsense. When did my mother become this mean? What? How can I possibly be on this? No. I will always be on the side of the truth. I don't know what has come over her. I'm sure she's not serious.
Thank you, Father, once again for coming around. It's okay. Thank you. Have a safe ride. It's okay. May the good Lord bless you. The Mother, Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> good night, Father. Good night, Father. Okay. Good night. I wish I met you alive. I saved you many times in my dream. Why? Why, Father? Why didn't you wait for me to come back? Mom told me beautiful things about you. You made history, world on marble for yourself and for the people of Eziamuku Kingdom. Indeed, you were a great king. I promise to uphold your legacy fame. I am sorry I wasn't there for you when you needed me. I am sorry it turned out to be this way. I miss you, Daddy. I miss you so much, my king. I am so hey, 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 hey! I have condoned enough of your excesses in this palace. Now take this mask ready, you call mother. Pack your baggages. Leave this palace. I won't want you again. This is my house, my home, my palace, my kingdom, my empire! Out! Take this masquerade! Get out! Why are you still here? I can see you are ready for trouble with whole madness all over you. Did you ask questions before interrupting? I'm asking. Did your mother bring you enough masquerade? Nothing to say. Nothing. Bring it on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I am certain it hasn't done on you that I am the first son of this king lying here. I don't need to enlighten your crack brain about this palace. You claim to be your empire. Listen, before you were born, before you came into this world, I have been in this palace playing with my friends. <laughs> I warn you, I warn you for the last time, do not breach the peace and tranquility in this palace, else I will show you where you belong. Maybe I have to remind you why I am called High Tension. If I get hold of you, I will not stop until you are completely Right up. Take your baggage. Take this mask where you call the mother. Get out of this palace. Run as fast as your legs can carry you. I would not warn you again. We shall see.
Penyeze. My presence. You're back. Yes, my presence. Did you see Father Declan in the church? Have you passed the message? No, my presence. There's a bad news. What bad news? My presence. Father Declan is dead. What? Did I hear you well? My queen. That's who is that? Father Declan is dead, my queen. Is this a joke? How? How? When? According to news, my princess, he had accident on his way home last night. Declan can die just like that. No, it's not true. No. I'm sorry, my princess. Before I got to the parish, they already confirmed him dead. I'm so sorry. Father, what did His Majesty, my father, tell you is the cause of his situation. You are his confidant, his closest friend. He must know something. He must have told you something. Please tell me, I want to know. Why is his condition like that even before I was born? My dear, your father, his majesty, had a strong bond with a deity which had been trying to denounce but he find it difficult to let go completely bond with a deity father did he confess that to you i tell you what i know and the people of Ejamoku kingdom know because they all worship the same deity River. But Father, if His Majesty has a link with the deity, how come he made you his closest friend and built a church for the missionaries? Don't you think this act of his humanity and benevolence is the cause of his predicament? I mean, he supports the church. At the same time, he is the traditional ruler of the land, the custodian of the law. My dear Princess Delight, your father, his majesty, has it in mind to unite every citizen of this kingdom like you said he's a benevolent man you might be right he wants everybody to coexist together if the deity or the spirits find it offensive well you might be right but let me tell you this we have to continue to pray for your father and men like him to be seen in this world. Men who take everyone to be equal. Who don't look at what you do, your race, your culture, your religion, but they look at everyone as one. Love. Love is the first commandment. And love is what we need this time and the time to come. Yes. So my dear, like I said, 
We need to be praying for your father. You are a true friend. A kind and humble man to all. We will forever miss you. We will forever miss you and my father. May your soul and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God the rest in peace. Amen. From the bank account, someone restricted me from withdrawing money. I was what restricted by Afanda from withdrawing money from the family's account. I just found out now. Afanda did what? Afanda freeze the family's account. Where is he? How am I supposed to know where that fool is? What do you ever know? Where is he? Where is Afanda? Afanda! Afanda! Where is he? You don't know. Do you ever know? Do you ever know? Afanda! Afanda! Damn it! Afanda! Damn it! Damn it! He has bitten more than he can chew. I would not take it. Not now. Not ever. Mother, are we just going to sit and watch them override us? They can't just come from nowhere and overtake everything. What the hell do they think they are? Mother, we're not going to let this slide. We shouldn't. I see. Don't worry. Don't worry, my son. Do you still have the documents of the church? Of course. Good. You will put it up for sale. And let me see who will stop you. I will unseat him and his mother in this palace. They will meet their ancestors very soon. No one crosses my path and leave to tell the tale. I will make them regret ever coming to this palace. No one. No one dares me. Goodness. This is unbelievable. This is embarrassing. Mother, I am so angry right now. I, I, I need money. Gosh, I need money. I need money. Oh, thank you. Oh. And I tell you, you see that account, you will freeze it today. It's all your money. Abana. You must freeze that account today. Abana. You don't block my way. You Abana. don't do that. Come you on, don't pass. do that. Come on, pass now, guys. You don't pass. do that. Pass! I will never unfreeze the royal account. You never. Must. You will not hand my father's document to anyone here. Alright? You must learn to curtail your expenses. You must learn to curtail your extravagant expenses. Listen, as for the royal account, it is 50% share of our father's income. Nothing more, nothing less. Like you lie. You lie, I tell you. Elders, if you know this man, this imposter, this fool, Tell him to unfreeze the royal account. I need full access to my father's money. My father never restricted me from having access to the money. He has no right to restrict me from having access to my father's money. Warn him I don't want to commit murder. Warn him now. You won't commit any murder. I've done it already. I have freezed the account. If you want to spend big from your own share of the 50%, you can invest. Make big and spend big. If you want to spend big, work for it. Have for now. I would rather die than share 50% of my father's money with my siblings and then you get to manage the million 50%, right? You it will never happen! Only my dead body! It won't happen! 
Young men, calm down, calm down. I have fun. I expect you to gather your younger brothers and think on how to lay his majesty to rest than us coming here every day to hear these ear-biting discussions. Eh? And Prince Zafa, please do not in any way again abuse your elder brother. He is our crown prince. Don't insult him for that, please. No, no, wait. No, hold on. We all know that it is four days now that our king, his royal majesty, joined his ancestors. But that is not, not enough reason for Prince Afana to freeze the royal account. Let his siblings and the entire household have access to their father's wealth. I am not in support of what he's doing. You're not a member of this family. You're a member of the cabinet. When it comes to the matters of the kingdom, Akagadia, but as for my father's business, Akagadia, all you know is Butekeke. Never it won't happen again. I have said my word and it is final. 50% share or nothing. You never have. Elders, you have me. Elders, you've seen it. You've seen it, right? I will never be alive and what is important to take over my father's wealth. Come it will never happen. Come Not in this life. Uh, it will never happen. Afana, we are supposed to have settled this thing uh, amicably. Uh, uh, then after we talk about arrangement for your father's burial. Uh, then uh, you just jump out like that. Is that how you are going to control this thing? Let's go. Is he right? Hey, that's a reason you could listen to me. We must be very careful concerning our transits in this matter. These are still children, and you know that they are still believed. Please, let's be very careful. Let's try the house. A naked wire, but who are you? Who bought you? Call up Prince High Tension. Prince High Tension. Uh -huh. Prince High Tension. Oh, 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 girl. Prince High Tension. I say it again. Prince High Tension. Prince High Tension. Clear the way for him for I go. The frequency is high. He want to be the king by all means. He want to rule the kingdom by all means. Uh, you know, you know, I'm a very rich man. Okay. And a business-minded human. Okay. But the truth is that I really don't like to meddle into religious properties. Okay. But right I don't now, want troubles. I know, but right now this is. Whether religious or not, I'm not a Christian, I'm a businessman. I gave them out to use it for some time, but now I want it back. So it's my problem to look at that place. You see the boundary when you have those bricks all the way, all the way, all the way from there, all the way to this place, they all belong to me. So uh, as soon as you sign the document and um, you make payment, it belongs to you. Uh, you're just saying it all this place. You've not said how much you want to sell it. How much? Ah, uh, it's not it? something that we can actually discuss here. Let's just get to my office or your office, wherever we we'll discuss price. Money won't be the problem. Just understand that from here, that very place, that pole to that pole, they are all my property. Huh? Okay, you know what? Let's meet as you just said. Okay. Here at your office. Or probably we'll meet somewhere else. So we'll have a drink. Do and business. Talk. Business. Nice talking to you. Man. Nice doing business with you. All right, bro. I'll More see. time. All right. Any other property? You sell, right? I will sell. But I want to give you an advice. Get me another property or something else. More, more, more. I am ready to see, buy. Because I'm, I intend building a very big hotel. Uh, no problem. No problem. I have so many properties. Right. As okay. long as you have your cash, you have my property. Ah, ah, it's not a problem. Okay. The cash is not a problem. Okay. I'll call you. Uh -huh. I cannot accept such dictatorship in the palace. No way. Omeme. That is none of your business. I like the prince. Look, 
He is pragmatic and rigid. He is fearless before his brothers. Look. Look at this small boy. A little boy demanding for 500 million naira. Hmm. Hey! Hmm. Whereas some of us will die without having up to 10 million naira in our account. This little boy demanding for 500 million naira just to go and bash it in the club with girls. No. And you are here supporting him. You must be an enemy of progress. Look, I like Prince Afana. He will shake them all. They have not seen anything yet. I pity Prince Jamike. Prince Afana has a blade of fire that will burn down that palace. Yes. He has that fire in his eyes that even Prince Jamike can always stand. Yes. The war has just begun. You all are here making noise, making much ado about nothing. Soon, His Majesty's will will be read for everybody to have what belongs to him or her. I know about name. Let the will be read. Yes. Let the will be read. Uh -huh. Let us go home. Let's alarm the royal home. Settle themselves of these millions upon millions. On one coin, you don't give any more. On one coin, you don't Let us go. That boy very well. Don't preach me, please. Don't advise me. I know you're supposed to be angry, but you see, he's your brother, your elder brother. Maybe you should go close to him, form a brotherly relationship, be his friend. Maybe that can give you the passage you want. Everything must not be achieved through muscle. You can align with him and have a fine dialogue. That is all I am saying. Please. Delight sent you here to come and preach brotherly love to me, right? She sent you here to come and counsel me on how to get into Afana in order to get what is rightfully mine. My father's wealth. My money. Baby, no one sent me here. I came here all by myself. I am your girlfriend. You guys are passing through a perilous time right now. This is not the time to fight. This is the time to get close to your brother and win his heart. Fighting and struggling will amount to nothing. That is all I am saying. Please. Okay, I've heard you. Let me have my drink. Leave it. You can go back to your father's house. Are you asking me out right now, babes? No, wait. Right, get up. Babes, are you not? You're, you're not serious! Get up. Are you serious right now? What rubbish? What nonsense? I should go and befriend Afana, align with Afana, rubbish. Oh my God, what an insult.
doing here? What exactly are you doing here? And how many times am I going to tell you never to show your ugly face around this place? How many times? You amaze me, Princess Turugo. I mean, I never come to this palace in search of you. I am dating your half-brother, Prince Iviafa, in case you are pushing the heat. Listen to me, you ugly-looking, low-cheap prostitute. Of course, I know who you are. I didn't ask you for an introduction. This is a message for you. Regardless of whatever you think you're doing here or who you think you're coming here to see, the message is never to show your face around this place. And I hope I've spoken in little words because I know you're so daft to understand. And I ask again, what is your problem? My you are not Princess Delight. Neither are you his mother. You're not even my fiancé. Why there's so much hate and bitterness at the sight of me around the palace? Why? <laughs> now listen and listen very good, you need to it. I am still the princess here, okay? And I will not stand here and glorify you by trying to have a conversation with you because you're so daft. The next time you show your ugly face around here, I would make sure that the palace guards give you the whip of your life. A whip that will leave you with unforgettable marks. And that's not a threat. What's she doing here? I said, what was she doing here? Who? What do you mean who? Are you serious? You don't know what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about Angela. I saw her on her way out. I know she was coming from your room. And she slept here, right? Stop. Don't tell me to stop! No, stop it! You fucking cheat! Stop! Stop what? Stop it now! Stop what's stop it? What is wrong with you? Are you mad? Are you sick or something? You're asking me if I'm mad? Yes! She slept in this room. You guys made love. You kissed and cuddled till day three. Shut rain. up! You fucking asked me to shut up! She's my girlfriend, my lover, my wife to be. Is it? How dare you, you fucking cheat? Who do you think you're talking to? How dare you glorify her in my presence? Are you mad? <sighs> Baby, you know what? Just, I'm, I'm sorry. Get out. I'm sorry. Get out of my room. No. Get! Get out of my room. Just calm down. Calm down. Get out of my room now. Get out. Get out! Get out! Jamike, I'm no longer interested in buying the property. What? What do you mean you're no longer interested in buying the property? Why? I thought we already had this business sealed. Huh? What can I do for you to confirm that this property is mine? We've been saying this. Okay, wait, let me show you. Look at this one. This is a letter I wrote to the bishop that I want my property back. And after a series of discussions, he had to allow me to take my property back. This one. All the way from Rome. Appended by the Pope himself. Look at it. This is not my signature. That's the Pope's signature. Look at this one. This is the original land document from Lance. What else do you want me to prove? Uh, what other document do you need for me to prove that this property is legally mine? Prince Jamike, see this document uh, was brought to me this morning by my lawyer. Okay. Regarding the land you claim to be yours. And a letter was written to one prince, Afana George Ezeka. I believe the name is familiar to you. And he replied in a very funny way, asking the bishop to disregard every form of letter coming from you, that you have a mental issue affecting your reasoning. What? Afana said I have mental issues. Afana, he says that I have mental issues. He also said something that dazed me, that baffled me. Saying how can a normal human being want to sell a Catholic church as big as St. John's Cathedral? Simple. It is my property. I can sell it. I'm a pagan. I'm not a Christian. 
I don't belong to Methodist, Catholic, Pentecostal. I'm a pagan. I do business. I'm a businessman. What are you talking about? I gave that property to the church. I want it back. Here is the original document to that property. What do you want? What else do you want me to prove before you know the, the property is mine? You know what, Prince Jameke? I'm not interested in buying the land. I am a Christian. I believe in Christianity. Thank you. Get out of my car! All right. Out! Move it! Close the door! Look at this idiot! Look at this idiot! Look at this fool! Look at him! Look at this fool! Oh, because... Avanna! Avanna! We need to plan. Yes. We need to organize. You know, we need to set up things properly so that each king coming from different kingdom will be well taken care of. Yes. Yes. Okay. Dignitaries will come in the mother yard, yeah? mm -hmm. from all parts of the world, mm -hmm. from all parts of the country. I will also have a Where is that food? Where is it? Where? That is your acclaimed son who killed you for the second time. He's desperate for the throne and your wealth. He's not talking to me. Write the bishop. Write him now. Tell him to give me my property back. Tell him to give me back my property. What gives you that You must tell this, tell this idiot to write the bishop to give me back my property. Tell him. Tell him. Uh -huh, my elders. Like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by... I! Did you hear this fool? I rudely interrupt you! Can I have my property back? Give me back my property! Tell me where you robbed the bishop to restrict me from selling my property! Are you crazy? Are you stupid? Are you mad? Oh my god, I mean, this is this boy. How did I interrupt your elders meeting? What the hell are you talking about? I am talking about my multi-millionaire property! You talk of your elders? What elders? What else are you talking about? Write the bishop to give it back. I will do no such thing. You will do no such thing. You do no such thing. Get out from this place. Nonsense. Wait for me. More for you. You do nothing. Yes, you do nothing. I'll do nothing. Wait for me. Wait for me. Wait for me. Afanna, please. I think you should call off this meeting. Please. I won't do that. He's a little boy. He will do nothing. He can do nothing. He needs to read. You! You! You call me a little boy. You call me a little boy. You call me a boy. Now, will you write the bishop? Tell him to give me back my property. Are you out of your mind? Call the bishop. Tell him to give me back my property. Give it back! Are you going to do this? I will do no such thing. You will do no such thing. You will do no such thing. You ask now. No. Hey. 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 Who does that? Why all the that? You want to sell the church of God? Who does that? Nonsense! Nonsense! Hey! 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 H
Join them and recline in their bosom. The water inside the calabash cannot be poured out now. As Jamike will rule the land, which is never predestined to be so. Please, I beg of you, return to your body now. Return now, that is never too late. Go back before they send you to Mother Earth. You want me to return to Jamike and have him kill me for the third time? No! No. No. I cannot. Honora. Honora, I cannot! Now look at Honora, look at me. Look at me. Look at my skin. Look at my skin glowing like that of a newborn baby. I am healthy. I love my body. I love my body. Yeah, I cannot go back to that damaged body. I speak. I speak. I speak well because I am here. Let me remain here. Honora. Let me cross over. Let me remain here, please. I cannot bring down the sacred calabash until you return to your body and allow the gods to summon you are dead. Look at them! Look at the despicable things they are doing. Look at what my son and the oaf. Who thinks she is my, my blood? See what they're doing. Look what they're doing. Look at them. Look at them. Wanyi Mino Jomi is really tormenting your soul. Oh, 
sleeping with another man. This affair has been going on for many years. That boy is not ready to marry your acclaimed daughter, Turugu. Because you're also attached to your adulterous wife. Princess Turugu, on the other hand, is not ready to let go of Eziafa. Ezeka, are you aware that your wife, Lola Chalugu, has been having intercourse with your son, Eziafa? Ah, oh. I am Mary Ujumi. She's really dealing with my family. Afana is already in a trap. Poor Sue. Well, after the rain comes the shine for him. Well, let me show you the evil plots of your wife, Lola Chalugo, against your first wife. everything as it unfolds. This is what she will do in time to come. She has plotted evil in the spirit. She will do it in the physical. Her mind is made up to take Ujumwa away. Why are you showing me all this? Why? I have made up my mind to die and never return to that wicked world. I detest my body. I detest my state on earth. I am the Igwe, and I command you, let the water drop. I'm not under your command, Izika. Return to your mother body, or you can continue to waste your time. She will punish me the more. Can't you see? She will inflict pains and anguish on my flesh. Look, I found my first son. He is the reincarnation of my father, Ezeka Ezobi. He is completely fearless. He is bold. He is brave. He will keep the kingdom and please my spirit. Let me join my ancestors, please. I'm done speaking with you. You are free to remain here. The gods have spoken. Go back to your body before it goes down to Mother Earth. Lord. Oh no, I come back! Come back! Oh no!
but enjoy the war going on in the palace. See, lightning and thunder with is it ordinary thunder? No, thunder with stretch mark, body order, and mouth order. We kill all of you. After all, you are not useful to counter. Confuse people everywhere. Are you referring to us, Ndiche, as vipers? Huh? <laughs> See, you in particular, you are the worst viper. Mm -mm. You are a viper. What am I talking about? No. You are the chief viper. Anaconda. The big Anna. Uncle, come and swallow me. Let me see. I love you, beat this man. I can play. Mazokoro beat who? He's drunk. Please, let's go. Yeah, uh, yeah, wait. I'm drunk. But I can see clearly the ten of you. Oh, the ten of us. He is really drunk. Let's go. Hey, hey, wait. Wait. If you are not up to ten now, where is Iwe Ezeka? You think he's dead, eh? Oh! <laughs> Iwe Ezeka cannot die like that. <clears throat> you think Iwe will just die like a fowl meant for sacrifice? Mm -mm. Ha! No! See, Iwe Ezeka is not dead. Mm -mm. <laughs> Why are we here listening to Okonta? Eh? Igwe Ezeka died five days ago and he's here saying nonsense. Please let us go. Move! I am moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. You people will not ask questions every time I'm drunk. Meanwhile, I can see clearly than all of you. I am even wiser than all of you. Eh? Ask questions. You will not ask. You think the Igwe will just die like that? Look at them. Useless, confused old men. Dirty red cap. With ritualist. Is, what am I talking about? A cottage uniform. Where was I going to? Was it this way or this way? No, this way is for vipers. Let me go this way. No, they even came from this side. Vipers Road. Let me go back to where I'm What? What a word of vipers. Nonsense. Let's have a drop. Are you the one carrying me? I came to have a word with you as regards what is going on in the kingdom. I understand perfectly that the elders of this great kingdom are always on the side of justice. My side. Okay, go on. It is time for us to stand up and fight. It is time for us to revolt. Yes! Revolt against the recognition of Prince Afana as the crown prince of this great kingdom. There is only one crown prince. Me. Prince Jamike, you are running so fast. Please hold on. You want me to revolt against the crown prince? <laughs> it appears you've not been paying attention to all I've been saying. The truth is that Prince Afana is doing the right thing. And he will make a good Igwe. Because he just stopped some certain things 
with immediate effect. I am a man with less words. Action, they say, speak louder than voice. In this time, million naira, I want you and all the elders in this kingdom to be against Prince Afana. I am the only crown prince of this great kingdom. Do I make myself clear? Hmm. I don't need this money. I don't need your money. Go with your money. You have only two days to think about what I just said. Two days. Prince Jamaica. Mm. Prince Citation. Prince Citation. Where is your respect? Prince Citation. Where is the regard? Prince Citation. You think so? You can fight me. Prince Citation. Turugo, what is it? Afana, don't tell me you meant what you said. What did I say? <laughs> what did you say? Listen, Afana, you cannot crawl out of nowhere and sit at the helm of my father's company. You cannot do that. You've not made any point yet. I need money. Okay, then you sit down, we talk as siblings, not that. I mean, you don't have to be uncivil just because you need money. Please sit. Can you sit? Fine. Fine. So are you here for your own 50% share? Damn it, Afana. Damn it. That's not good enough. That's an insult. A slap on my face. Don't you dare insult me, okay? Hey, Jerugo, watch it. <laughs> Here is not a psychiatric home. If you need the medical attention, start it and not shout. I, I have to also explain to you what I want to do with my money. I should tell you how I want to spend my money. Right, Afana? Okay, okay, no, no. It's fine. I'm not arguing. It's okay. If you must know, I want to travel with my friends. I want to go hang out with my friends. But, most importantly, I want to buy a car for my boyfriend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you pick up your phone and, and, and call the accountants. Go ahead. Call. Oh. Yeah. I see. Well stated. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would like to, you know, give you a brief history about you in particular. From what I read on your profile, you were born 4th December 2002. <sighs> You went to Auckland University, you stayed in Chicago, you graduated with first class business management, second class economics, first class international relations. You also studied international technology and you came out well. Uh, what has that got to do with anything? I find I'm not daft. Okay? I know who I am. You cannot read my own history to me. So you know how you have wasted life? 
economy, resources, time, energy, virtually everything. Oh yes, you have a beautiful certificate under your palm. But you chose to sit down as a princess and do nothing about it. You are practically doing nothing to project an amazing future for yourself. Damn it, Afana. I am a princess. It is not a yastic. Hey, listen. Uh. Queen Elizabeth has daughters. They are amazing and wonderful as entrepreneurs. They work for themselves. They earn money for themselves. Oh, yes. They just get little token from the royal account. Let me advise you. Come down from that your royal white horse. Step down from that your royal white horse and get yourself a job. Alright? When you get yourself a job, you can buy, you can acquire, you can get anything of your choice. You can buy any car for your boyfriend. Who cares? You can take your friends to any part of the world, buy them the most expensive wine, who cares about it? As long as you're spending your heart and money. And that's it. That's on period. Okay. Uh, so, Afana, what are you saying? What is the conclusion? Are you giving me the money? I am giving you nothing. Oh yes. Our staff needs to be paid. The only thing I'm giving to you is your 50% annual share. Oh yes, and nothing more. Go to the other office. You see the lights working. Working so hard to the growth of this company. Oh yes! Hey, you don't have two heads. Everybody must work. So, little sister, dust your beautiful certificates and get yourself a job. Thank you. Afana, this is not over. As a matter of fact, this is just getting started. Have a nice day. Shut the door after you. You work, earn money, and spend it. That's what makes you a big girl. Not squander the fam. I mean, ha! Ah. Azupan Damn it! Can you imagine that all the elders in Umwese have all rejected me? Me! No one rejects me! I am sure Afana must have poisoned him, but I will shock him. I will let him know I have the antidote for his poison. Did you give them something? Of course, mother! Would I have gone there empty handed? I went there with loads of money, but none of them accepted. Which means he has bribed them before I did. I better still I came there. But one thing is certain no human born of a woman can take the throne from me. No one. Relax. Calm down. Relax. Relax. I have a plan. Firstly, we have to team up with Uma and her family. Team up? Is your voice also interested in the throne? Oh no. From the look of things, Ezefa does not want the throne. But his mother is keen on getting the throne for him. But listen, they're not a threat. We have to deal with the external intruders and then get rid of Uma and her son too. If that be the plan, then we have got to act fast. Yeah, I will handle it. Just relax. Lastly, we will summon the cabinet and get them on our path. So don't bother yourself. Trust your mother. Relax. At this time, we must put away our differences. 
and fight our one common enemy. This is not the time to look down on anyone. We have one huge threat at hand. Ujua and her son have surfaced from pits of hell with their order, thereby denying us our rights in this palace. We must act fast to push them back to the grave where they belong. She laid her ugly hands on me. How dare she? I will teach her a lesson she will never forget in a hurry. There's a reason I am called High Tension. Prince, High Tension. We just have to join forces, my wonderful people. We just have to, and we have to do it now. We have to act fast. Your Majesties, I am highly disappointed with this visit. I mean from you two. I am grieved in my spirit. You came here to ask me to go against Ujunwa and her son, Afana. Eh? His Majesty is not yet buried. And no one is talking about it now. I don't, I'm not even bothered about it. The primary thing we are supposed to do is to plan and bury the king, your husband, and not to stand here and begin to fight each other. Oh no. A child does not rest when there is a mountain in front of him. We want Ujumwa and her son to leave the palace. No. We want them dead. Then, count me out. I will not support such evil. I am the custodian of the custom of this land. I cannot support that evil. How dare you? I mean, how dare you, your majesties? Then, you have to go for them. that they are not harmful. I mean, they mean well for this royal household. Oh, will you shut up? What do you know? Mother Delight is deluded. Excuse me? Of course, you're delusional. Mother, I actually thought I could blend with him. But after what he did to us, he freezed the family's account. And I hate him to the core. I don't ever want to see you around them. Else, I'll strangle you alive. Strangle who? As my father, the king of who? Who are you to tell me what to do and what not to do in my father's palace? Don't try it again. Listen, mother, I still maintain that they are not harmful. They mean well for this royal household. I believe in Prince Afana's policy. You work in the company, get paid, and enjoy your money. Shut up and get out of my sight. Oh, who are you to order me around? Let me tell you, mother, want her. I don't ever want to see her around those people. If you ever. If I ever get to see you around those people again, I'm going to strangle you myself. I would be the one to strangle. Who are you to strangle? That's what, okay. What, you think I'm your, I'm, your, I'm, your, I'm your palace maid? How dare you talk to me I like said that? that's enough. Eziafa, let her be. I can see she's not part of this family. Yes, <laughs> I have excommunicated her already. Now listen son, I don't trust Achalugu nor her son. Mm. 
they might generalize their evil plan. Therefore, we need to be on guard and still strive our way to the throne. But I'm not interested in the throne. Can I just have access to the money? Will you shut up your mouth? Don't be a fool. Huh? When you become the ego of this kingdom, you have access to all the wealth. Do you not see the reason I want you to succeed your father? You talk like a fool. Can I just have access to the money? You're all about the money. Money and no work. You're just a lazy fool. Listen, I, I, thank God I'm not part of this evil plans. Excuse me, mother. Mother, she just called me a thing. Son, just let her be. Okay? Don't worry. I know how to deal with her. really happening to me <laughs> I know I contributed in killing his majesty but I was misled <laughs> I never knew my service would result to this gods of our land <laughs> please forgive me forgive me been throwing up since morning. The gods wants to punish me for my evil deed. Oh, I am no longer in my pride. Up till this very moment, Princess Drugo have not done anything about the card that raped me. No evil visits me as she normally do. Could I read something on my head? No, I don't know for how. Hmm? She says she's not hungry. Am I supposed to force her? She's matured now. Eh? Oh, I don't know. Papa. Mama, papa. I adore Angwam. Why are you not eating with us? What happened? Papa, I had a dream this morning. Eh? A dream? Dream, Mokwa. What about the dream? The boat Lolo of Igwezika came to meet with you regarding the presence of Queen Ujunwa and her son Afana, the Crown Prince. Mm -hmm. What happened? What happened? Papa, mm -hmm. 
They wanted you to deny them as part of Igwe Ezika's family. May the gods forbid. That was exactly what he said to them. He strongly refused and then Queen Uma pulled out a gun and shot at you. Oh, well, I shot at my own husband. Oman Renata. It will not... Oman Renata. In fact, fly back to Senda. Let it go back to them. Shot my own nine. Eh? In Anokwa. What kind of expensive dream is this? Eh? Nine. Nega. The dream is, is very, very expensive. Oh. Ha. Nega. Papa. Will you dance to their tune? She has just shot herself. Uh -huh. <laughs> she just succeeded in shooting herself. Bagam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As we are talking now, there is serious war, real war in the palace. Yes. Now, as we are talking, how can I support such conspiracy, such evil? Oh, I will not support it. I know now. I, I am the only one who, and I must stand by the truth. Yes. I must maintain. The sacred sanctity of this kingdom and make sure that my office do not leak in any way at all. Yeah. I will support them. Good. I will support them. No wonder the gods revealed this to my daughter. Yes, she had to be ready for them. I will be ready for them. Yes, and I. Do not panic. Yes. No, I support you. The gods will fight for me. Yes. They will vindicate me. Mm. But I am afraid though. Ujama to come. Eh? You have to be very, very careful, no man. Look at me now. It's too, it's too, in fact, I don't want to be a widow at this age. Be very, very careful. Ego deal. Be very careful. I will, my wife. I will, my wife. I will. Mm -hmm. You rest assured, I will. Papa. Mm -hmm. Mama is right. You have to be very careful. Mm -hmm. Those women can be very deadly. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. My daughter. Just place a show. Hmm? If you are a bouncer or a guard, eh? Get out of the way. Now, every time you are standing with knife, you are not a bush cutter, you are not a grass cutter. What are you cutting? Eh? I said, get, ah, get out of here. What? See? Don't. Very good. Very good. They break. I'm angry. What's going on here? I, my friends and my future in way, I'm very angry. Eh? See, I came to show you something. But you need to remove this your eyeglass so that you can use your eye to see it direct. Remove your eyeglass. Okunta, can you show me what you want to show me and stop being Very hot? good. Okay, see. See. Oh my God. See, I, are you seeing it? Or you have removed your glasses? Oh! That useless boy that does not know his father did this to me yesterday. Jamike! Mm, what am I talking about? Jamike! Jamike! Killed me yesterday. Eh? That boy! Oh! It's just that. He sent me to go and meet my ancestors. Just that I was not with my pan wife, they asked me to go back. Hmm? What did you do to him? What happened? Ah! Simple. I told him the bitter truth. Very bitter, like Onubu. In fact, like all these bitters. Yes. I told him his mother is a prostitute. Oh, no, you don't. Hmm? Don't. don't tell me no. Eh? See? You say the truth, you die. You don't say the truth, you die. Me, I'll I'll always say the truth. Eh? See, let me tell you. You don't know anything about this uh, law law at Chalugo. Eh? All our secret is in my palm. Yes! She's a prostitute. See, in fact, if you wire, hmm? Pia! Free to air. Uh, 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 um, Okunta, mm -hmm. uh, enough. You went too far. I am not supporting you, neither am I supporting Jamike for what he did to you. Um, all I have to tell you now is just forgive and forget. Eh! Ta! See, I'd rather die in this palace than to forgive that useless boy and the mother. See? My friends, let me tell you, eh? 
They flog the hell. No, not hell. They flog demons out of my body. See, my prince, they ordered the guards to flog me. I was screaming. I was shouting. I was. In fact, I was even weeping like a child. This idiot, they continue flogging me. Eh? See, you don't know this. People, you don't know them. Uh, 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 um, Okunta, mm -hmm. it's all right. I'm sorry for what happened, okay? But I think you should just, um, okay, um, have this token, okay? <laughs> From here, you can get some treatment. Ooh, you're a good man. See, if I the way you're doing this. <laughs> Now I even feel like they should be flogging me every week. <laughs> hey! See, you're a good man. My prince, you're a good man. That's why you have to be very careful of these demons. They want to kill you. Yes, they want to kill you. But their plans will not work. Eh? See, when am I going to get my Panwai allowance? Okunta. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my prince, my prince. I am on my way to work. Mm. Come back tomorrow, right? But then, stop cursing at mothers and other people to mm. avoid same treatment next time. No problem. It's because of you. See, you know you, your father, the Igwe, pay me Panwai allowance. That is why he cannot die now. Yes. See, let me tell you. Igwe is sleeping, but you will not understand. Because you will not understand the kind of sleep. It is majestically sleeping. Uh, we'll come to eh? see you later, right? You see, if you have good character, I would have given you something. And this is bigger than your salary. You are doing a leaf. We mew, you remain there. We mew. We knew. Look at this one. Another standing ovation. We knew. <laughs> hey! oh! My elders, I gathered you all here today so that we can have a concrete decision on what to do to Afana and his mother. Afana and his mother left my father when he needed them the most. When he was sick, and his days of agony, they were supposed to be there for him. But no, they eloped. And just when my father joined his ancestors, they sprung up from the slums where they belong, only to lay claims to reap where they did not sow. My others, I, Prince Jamike Heitinger, I decree that they be banished from his Yamuku kingdom. I have spoken. If you have anything else to say, I'm listening. Jamike, things are not done that way. Ezeribe, tell me, how are things done? I am the only one of this kingdom. It is wrong for you to pass such a decree. While I'm here, let me quickly remind you, Ezeribe, you are an Unowu to a king that is no more, which means your office is no longer functional. Oh, you're not aware. Let me also quickly remind you that the king, your father, is not yet buried. Therefore, I still remain the Unowu of Asia Muku Kingdom. Unowu, we do respect. Prince Afana is not in control of anything in this kingdom. We give him three days to unfreeze the royal account. As we will take this matter very seriously. I mean every word of it. Ichia, thank you so much for your words. Oh no. Afana and his mother came out of the blue. They disregarded us. We've lived in this palace all our lives. We served this community. 
We served each and every one of you and your families. Our mothers looked after the king till his death. Yet he had the God to freeze the royal family's account. For that reason, I stand with my brother Prince Jamike, the rightful heir to the throne, on his decree that Afana and his mother be banished from this kingdom. And that is final. I have no issues with you. Okoro, let me warn you. In a meeting like this, if you don't have any reasonable thing to say, just sit down and keep quiet. What are you sitting in the bus? You don't have to break protocols. I am the owner of this great kingdom, Ezeamuku, and I'm here. Um, Prince Ezeafa, I've also had your submission. Let me bring to your knowledge. It is now seven days, that is one week, our king, Igwe Zeka of Ezeamuku Kingdom, joined his ancestors. What we are supposed to be talking about now is how to give him a befitting barrier according to tradition. And not who to banish and who not to banish. Who are you talking about? Afana, the first son of the king. And his mother, the first wife of the king. Where is it done? In fact, I do not support this. I must not support that proposal. And because of this, as the only one of Eziabuku, I can no longer stay in this meeting. I am going. Elders. No, Afanda is an illegitimate son. He's not my brother. As you can see, your new seat is vacant. Think about it. I've been telling you about this imposter, this fraudster. Arrest him. I said arrest him. Jamike. Point of correction. Bring high tension. You hear me? In fact, officers, this man is also an imposter. He's imparting himself as your know. Look at me. I am the king. And I haven't appointed my know yet. That makes him another imposter. Officers, what are you waiting for? Arrest him. Do criminals get one second? Is that what happens when the police are prisoners? Imposter, one second. I am fine. I am fine. Um, um, please, a quick one. Uh, one hoodlum is here with some he, of your book. He calls me a hoodlum. He calls me a hoodlum. Arrest him. Oh, yeah. He's the one making noise. He's trying to obstruct the meeting I'm having with your no here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yes. They're here. They're here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Who's gonna take this call? You think it's a big commissioner? No, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. Okay, sir. What do you mean, sorry, sir? What do you mean, sorry, sir? What do you mean, sorry, sir? Arrest this idiot! Are you saying sorry, sir? Is that why I brought you here? Yeah, sorry! Hey, you! You! What stupid job! One phone call, seven, sir! An imposter! One phone call! Yes, sir. Yes. Seven, sir. And you? You haven't had the last of me yet. You think you know people? Small connection, commissioner. I am a fire you cannot quench. Hello, commissioner. You think you are the only one who knows, commissioner? Do not worry. I will tell you that priest, high tension will shock you. High tension will shock you. Do not worry. You! You haven't had the last of me yet. Wait for me. Okay, I don't know. What is happening here? My queen, 
I am suddenly behind you. You see, Prince Afana and his mother will never ascend the high rank of this palace. No. We must eject them from this palace. Right now, my son is taking care of it. Prince Afana is cooling off in the police net. And from there, we will pay them to waste him. Ujuma is not a threat. We will deal with her. Right? Of course. Good. She is nothing but a walking corpse in this palace. They will leave this palace. In fact, they must leave. They are not welcome in this land. The only recognized prince of this land is Prince Jamaica. Any other one is counterfeit. Nonsense. I want you to stand your ground. Yes. And then convince the other elders to join in this struggle. Here's a two million naira check for you. Yes. And more money is coming your way. Exactly. <laughs> two million for me. Nonsense! 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 Can you imagine? Can you imagine this lazy boy, Abana? What? He's trying to show me he has connections. But I will let him know one thing. Prince Jamike, high tension, is the king of connections. Nonsense! 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 Naked wire, but who are you? Who are you? Call up Prince High Tension. Prince High Tension. Uh -huh. Prince High Tension. Oh, 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 girl. Prince High Tension. I say it again. Prince High Tension. Another. Prince High Tension. Chibuko, you're so sweet. Baby, you are sweeter. I enjoy every moment with you. You know, this is the reason I am not contemplating getting married soon. I mean, I cannot afford to miss out on this. I can't. But you know this won't last forever. No, don't say that. Izzy, this will last forever. You can't tell me otherwise. Goodness, I hate to see that girl Angela around you. I really do hate her. I hate everything she represents. All the time I see her, I just feel like killing her. I just feel like sniffing the life out of her. Come on. You know she's my woman. She's your woman. What about me? What does that make me? You're my stepsister, of course. Mm, really? I'm your stepsister. I'm your stepsister like this. Mom said you should. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Eyes are not deceiving me. Is the other. What are you doing with your sister, your stepsister Turugo?
the mock. You should hide your face in the mud, sleeping with your own blood brother. Oh, I see. That's why I've been posting your engagement party with Okadike. That's why you have refused to marry him, because you are sleeping with your own stepbrother. How could you? Why have you allowed the devil to use you like that? Why are you so shameless? Oh, what are you going to teach your children when you eventually get married? Because I know you're definitely not going to marry my own brother. So are you going to tell your unborn children to engage in incest? Is that what you're going to tell them? Answer me, you fool! Delight, I'm going to help you. I'm going to tell my unborn children that I, Turugo, their mother, enjoyed life to the fullest. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell them that my youthful age was never a waste because I enjoyed every bit of it with whomever I chose to enjoy life with. Alright? I know that you are thinking that by now I should be somewhere hiding in my room or being too scared to come out because you caught me. <laughs> but newsflash girl, I don't really care. All right? It doesn't matter whether you know or everyone in this palace knows about it. It means nothing to me. Mm. Not even you nor anyone can stand between me and what makes me happy. All right? Copy that. Excuse me. I am not done with you. <laughs> You're taking a piece now. Listen. Very well then. I am going to report this your ungodly act to your mother and to every member of the royal household. You disgust me, Turugo. You stink. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so scared right now. Delight, delight the reporter. Hmm? The light radio and TV station. I'm going to help you real quick. If you want to disseminate this information real fast, you know what you're going to do? Take this for me and take it for free. Go and get the town crier involved. Tell him to help you sound his gong. No, no, no. Tell him. Tell him to help you disseminate this information through the seven communities that make up this kingdom. Tell him to announce it real fast that I, Turugo, is sleeping with her brother. I don't really care. Like I said to you earlier, I'm going to repeat it for the last time. And that's if only your little brain will assimilate it. I do not care whether you know or everyone knows. Now, out of my way, please. All right? You Excuse me. You go nowhere until I am done talking. Stand <laughs> right there. I see. I look at you, I laugh because, like I said before, you have allowed the devil to use you. It's a pity. Oh. You and Eziafa should continue to wreak more havoc in this kingdom. I tell you what, mm -hmm. both of you will live to regret it. Ow. Now, excuse me. It's okay. That is my business and not yours. Why are you so worried? I mean, why does this even concern you? Oh my God. Excuse me, please. You are one of the opinion leaders in this great kingdom. I have watched you closely and you have not been in a failed league. 
so calm and gentle. Thank you, my queen. What do you want me to do for you? I want my son to be the next Igwe of this kingdom. But my queen, Prince Ezafa is the least among the princes. How can it be possible? That is why I chose you for this great task. I want you to remember. Do not disappoint me. My queen, I am certain that Prince Jamike and his mother will not be a threat to us. But how do we handle Queen Ujumwa and her son? Battle the dreaded ones, not the one you already know the steps. As for Ujumwa and her son, <laughs> leave them for me. I will handle them personally. I will think about it, then get back to you. Ichiyo Kunku, be fast about it. We have limited time. I will, my queen. You're hot. Your eye looks so gloomy. I think you're having malaria. Yes. Later we'll go and get you some herbs, okay? So sorry, eh? Alright, Mama. Sorry, woman. Hey. Adora, have you seen your period this month? Are you sure? Yes, Mama. You are sure that you've seen your period this month? Yes, Mama. Why are you asking? Oh, that I care. You know I'm your mother. So I care so much. Eh? No problem. I'm going inside. Ah. Okay. I want you to remember that bad attitude is like a flat time. If you don't fix it, you are going to You are going to I was on my way to your house. Thank you. I think I'm pregnant. God forbid. Adam Miri. How? Is it spirit or physical? How? It's a long story. Please. Can you accompany me to Nurse Nemiri's shop so I can confirm me? I'm confused. Please. Wait. How did you know that you were pregnant? My mother saw me vomiting this morning and then she asked, 
if I've seen my period. So I decode what the question means. And what will happen if I tell her the truth? It you so I lied to my mother and I've seen my period. But honestly, I've not seen my period. The period is the last one to give her. Is it beneath you? Ha! And that you are pregnant. How can your mother say that she doesn't know ah. you are pregnant? Jimo, Ikiruka, please help me. Ada, you are supposed to be a virgin. Wait. A week and two days ago, our Igwe died. <laughs> Ada, you had sex while performing the ritual, right? It's not what you think, no. Ada, why? Please, Ikuruka, help me. Don't touch me. Ikuruka, you're my friend. What do we do? Please help me. Did you just say what do we do? It's what will you do? Who is responsible for the pregnancy? Thank you. Please don't ask me that question. Please, I beg you. And you want me to help you, but you will not tell me the person that is responsible, right? Thank you. Don't touch me. I swear to you, I don't know. I don't know. Please help me. My mother will kill me. I'm finished. On no account would you tell me you don't know. Are you a baby? How can you be pregnant and you don't know the person that is responsible? Is it possible? Thank you. you know this is bad. I'm coming. Where are you going Just to? Just wait for me. Hi! Ada. Adora, pregnant. Daughter of Onowu. Hi. So my friend killed the Igwe. Yes, she killed the Igwe. So, Ada has been having sex while fetching the sacred river for his majesty. But Ada, why now? This is abomination, God. Ah, this is disgusting, I hate you. I was told you wanted to see me. Is anything the matter? I'm pregnant. You? You're pregnant. <coughs> so, um, so what about it? What do you want me to do if you're pregnant? You want me to jump to the moon because you're pregnant? My princess, you know I was a virgin. And none of your guard deflowered me in your room without my knowledge. I was raped in your room. And you never did anything to figure out the culprit, not until now. My princess. Look, your job here is over. I mean, over. I don't care if you're pregnant or not. I am not interested. Your pregnancy means absolutely nothing to me. Wait a minute. I thought you were supposed to be um, Adam Miri, the most holy virgin that fetches water for the king to take his bath. <laughs> what happened to you, girl? Look at you. Just take a look at yourself. See how cheap, low and gullible you are. So stupid. Goodness. So what were you thinking? No, no, tell me. What, what were you thinking? All those times I was being kind, nice, showering you with gifts, 
I mean expensive gifts and presents. <laughs> what did you think about that? That I, the princess, would stoop so low to have something to do with you. The daughter of a common beggar. Oh my goodness, you're so stupid. Ah! So my princess. <laughs> It was only set up. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, you're so daft. You also want me to spell that out for you. You want me to open your eyes. <laughs> Listen. You had sex. You got drunk. Had sex and got pregnant. And you still went ahead to perform the spiritual bath. <laughs> Do not <laughs> listen to me. Do not in any way get me involved in your mess. Because if you do, I will not fail to tell the entire villagers that you killed my father. My princess. Mm -hmm. You did, didn't you? My princess, you know it was never consensual. You deceived me by telling me to continue with my duty. That nothing is going to happen to the king, your father. I deceived you. <laughs> Oh, I know that you wanted your father to die. You used me to achieve your goals. I will never forgive you. I will never forgive you, my father. Oh, no, please just shut up and listen to me for the last time, okay? That you decided to be pregnant, that you decided to be stupid and used. It is totally on you and not on me. That is your responsibility, not mine, okay? For the last time, do not get me involved in this mess. Because if you do, <laughs> do not. Okay? Do not. My princess! My princess! My princess! <laughs> Is this possible? You surprised? Okay. 
Jemke, 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 don't do this. Jemke, drop the gun. Drop the gun. Shoot. Drop the gun. Jemke, drop shoot. The don't tell him to shoot. He's gonna kill our father. Pull the trigger. Jemke, please don't. Don't. Jemke, don't. Ah! <laughs> what? Jemke. Oh my God. It's my death. You are alive! Young man, you cannot kill Iwezaka. You know nothing about my father. What are you doing? Ah! Help me! Get off me! to push him and then the bullet hit his mother. Oh my God. Are you serious? Yes. Jamiki tried to kill her father. He tried to kill her father. And then I pushed him and the bullet hit his mother, Lola Chalugo. Jamiki wanted to kill all of us. He wants to be king by all means. This is serious. Baby, you see why I keep telling you to make peace with Afana? He's not the one with the evil intention. Strive to make peace with him, please. Yes, yes, Jamiki, Jamiki, Jamiki is the evil one. It's okay. He wanted to kill us. It's okay. You're panting. It's okay. He would have killed me too. It's okay. He would have, he would have killed me. It's okay. This is Prince Afan Nezeka. What? My mother? What happened? Which hospital? Okay, okay, I, I, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. But, uh, uh, please, please, just, just do the needful immediately. Do the needful. I will be right there. Please, mm. yes. Doctor, how serious is the accident? Good. Very good. No, 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 doctor. I don't want any 50-50% chance right now. I don't want that. Who are you people? Oh, God, shut up! Shut up, dear. I'll blow off your skull. 
Surprised. What's the meaning of this? What is the meaning of what? Huh? What is the meaning of this? I warned you. Heaven bear me witness. I want you and your mother to stay off. Stay away from my business. Keep off. But you took my simplicity. My gentility for stupidity. Now look at how stupid you are. Look at where your stupidity has landed you. I warn you. What happens to one who touches the tail of a tiger? He dies. You are going to die. <laughs> What do you want exactly? You ask me what do I want? You have nothing to give to me now. But I have everything to give to you. Boys! Yes, boss. boss. Declare his mouth open. Jamike. Jamike. Open it. Zambike. Open it. Open no. Open this mouth. Tell me again. What you want to do? <laughs> what I want to do. Do you know what they call this? Juicy, juicy. What did I say? Juicy, juicy. <laughs> this, it will make your death fast, sweet. Smooth, smooth. <laughs> Breaking news. I killed our father because I have always wanted to sit on that throne. Now you can see how desperate I am. Then you came into the picture, flaunting weights. Without asking questions. Look at where all your weights have landed here. <laughs> Today, you are going to join your ancestors. But do me one favor. Mariga Stigwezeka, the second of his Yamakeda. Say hi to him on my behalf. Now, boys. Open his mouth! No! 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 emotional right now. I just killed my brother. <laughs> oh. Farewell. Favorites. Farewell. Crown Prince Afana. Farewell. Commissioner's friend. Farewell. My beloved brother. I'm so emotional right now. I'm so I'm so, I'm so emotional right now. Who is the king of the jungle? Me. Boys! Yes, boss. Throw him where even the spirits will not find him. Have I made myself clear?
how bad he made it. Great. Oh, I'm so sorry. It wasn't my fault. Oh, they chose their path on her course. It's not my fault anyways. Okay, but you know what, Doctor? I want her dead. Not the maidens. Do anything. Inject her with anything. Do what you know how to do best. They made me tonight for your money. Good. Okay, bye. <laughs> Mother. He What's the good news? He called me. Jamika just called me. Okay. Guess what? Tell me, tell me. What's it? Tell me the good news. Afana is dead. How? <gasps> he said he watched him die slowly. Mother, as we speak, he is dead. Oh my god, this is the best news I've ever heard. I am so happy. This cause was celebration. Of course. Oh, it's actual <laughs> celebration, mother. Mother, what? take it. <laughs> mother, guess what? 50% is dead. I mean. 50%. No more, no less. A fan has spoken. Now he can go to hell and brag with the devil. Mm -hmm. No one, T.S. a chaloko. No, I won't take it. I won't take it. How can Her Majesty be involved in the father as an expert? And Prince Alhamdulillah is nowhere to be found. I have tried calling him. He is not picking his calls. He's not even in the hospital, neither is he anywhere. To My be found elders, these demons should be held responsible if anything happens to Prince Afana. Provide him, else there will be real war in this palace. I'm going to unleash the tigress in me. The other side of delight that you have not seen before, and believe me, it will not be delightful. You shut up your mouth. Oh, don't tell me to shut up. Are you mad? You are the one that is mad. Are you mad? You are the one that is mad. Are you mad? You are mad. Come you are mad. Come you are mad. Provide that man now. Provide him. Is it because I've been keeping quiet? Sit down, my dear. The princess, don't worry. You. You. We don't lose your tigers. <laughs> my darling, sit down. Uh, All right. Okay. Please, my daughter. Sit down. Please. Please. My elders. My sister is right. If I do not see the crown prince of this kingdom in the next 72 hours, I will burn down this palace. And I mean it. Eziafa, how dare you? Madam, don't play in games. These people are trying really hard to play with our intelligence. For your information, I'm not interested in the throne. I've said it times with that number. If I do not hear from Afana, nor see him, nobody, no mortal but of a human, will sit on this throne. And that is fine now. Little boys and diapers. Now you see or know not everyone is qualified to be in the throne room. Like this one. Hmm? Why are we bogging ourselves about Afana and his mother's disappearance? These people vanish all the time. They've disappeared before. They disappeared now. So as a tendency does to disappear tomorrow. It is in their nature to disappear. Can we talk about something more important like me ascending the throne of Isiamuku Kingdom? It's very obvious that something is absolutely wrong here. But notwithstanding, I will give my full support to Prince Isiafa. Our crown prince must be provided. X, there will be nothing like coronation or burial in this palace. Oh no. I'm Come on, get out of this place. Look at this one. 
Because they call it little material for you to so uh, come. Get out! 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 Look at him! Oh no, who gave this man the material to sew elders and cancel uniform? Who gave him the material? You? Don't you people scream? Oh my father, my father, my father. You just see people on the road and you make them elders and cancel. Out! Like I said earlier, Ron. Please jam me again. I tension. I don't know why I have to always remind you. High tension. Where is your brother? Where is Afana? I'm so emotional right now. Mother, where is Afana? How am I supposed to know where Afana is? Huh? Am I his keeper? Am I his watchdog? Oh no, why are we still bogging our heads over Afana's disappearance? Like I said earlier on, these people are used to disappearing. It runs in their blood. It's their nature to disappear. Can you swear by our offer that you have no hand in the sudden disappearance of Prince Afana? Oh no, my son will not swear to any of you. And you will not threaten him to do that. Then let him provide our crown prince. Yes. As a river, there is only one crown prince. Me. Secondly, I know nothing about the disappearance of Afana. Only thing that concerns me is the throne of his Yamuku kingdom. Okwe Begonu, I will now go and come back with another friend. But I'll give you time. Think! Yes. Hmm? Bring it, let him swear. He must swear. Bring your phone. No. Bring your phone. He must swear. You must swear to your innocence. Or you provide Afana. You must swear. I can see that you have imposed so much guts on your children. I will deal with them if they distort the peace in this palace. You will not. Achaligo, you will do nothing. You see that boy? He is going to be the next Igwe of this kingdom. Whether you like it or not, whether he likes it or not, he's going to sit on the throne. <laughs> I see this coming. We shall see to that. We shall see nothing. Okay. Yes, watch. <laughs> A dog that bites doesn't bark. How dare you? Ezefa, how dare you speak nonsense from your mouth? Eh? Do you want to disgrace me? Do you want them to win? We're in battle in this palace. And I will not be the loser. Do you understand me? No, mother. No! I've told you. We're not in battle in this palace. There is no war. I told you about the bad dreams I had yesterday. And today, Prince Afana is nowhere to be found. His car was still on the roadside. Probably must have been attacked by unknown men. And you want me to be quiet and fight? Fight for God knows what I'm not even interested in. There's no way I'm fighting, ma. I'm not fighting for your cause. Afana, his mother, whatever it is that is surrounding their predicament, is none of my freaking business. We're going to concentrate on Achalugo and her son. Mother! Oh, will you shut up? I am talking to my mother. Mother, I've said this and this is final. Jamaica must provide Afana. If Jamaica does not provide Afana in this palace, there will be war. There will be war in this palace. You will not jeopardize our mission. Therefore, whether you like it or not, you are going to sit on that throne. And that is final. Nonsense. Ezefa, I'm with you on this one. I will fight with you. Okay? We have to put a stop to this unnecessary show of power and superiority. Hmm?
babes, come sit. Come and sit. It's okay. doing here? What is she doing here? I thought I asked you never to show your ugly looking face ever in this palace again. Didn't I? For the love of God. Who the hell do you think you are to tell me not to come into this palace? Who? Who the hell do I think I am? Angela, <laughs> tread with caution. You don't know me. You do not know what I am capable of. Now, without wasting time, at a count of three, I want you to pick your ugly, dirty looking self out of this room. Now, one, two, babe. What is going on? No, what is going on? I do not understand, and it's getting me mad. I cannot wrap once and why she keeps getting peace each time she sees me around you or in this palace. Why? Tulugo, whatever has a beginning must have an end. This is the end of this rubbish. Now get out of my room. Are you mad? Ezafa, are you sick in the head? Would you think you're talking to in that tone? Me? Like seriously? <laughs> you think you can dump me? <laughs> like a piece of cabbage? What? <laughs> Wait. Did you just say dump? Babe, no, no, wait, I, I, I do not want to believe it. It's not true. Are you? No, 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 I, I, I don't want to believe it. I, I cannot believe Can someone explain to me what is going on here? Get out of my room, now! Get out! I'm going nowhere, Zafa. Who do you think you are to order me around? Are you, are you serious? <laughs> I am never going to leave without a fight. She cannot take you away from me. Copy that. Babe, is she not your stepsister again? Babe, don't listen to her. She's possessed. She has evil spirits talking inside of her. She has legion of demons in her. Don't ever listen to whatever she has to say. She's here to cause commotion. She's here to destroy what we what have together. Please, babe, don't. Did I just hear you say that I have demons living inside of me? I have legions of demons <laughs> living inside of me. Is there far? Really? You're such a joke. When you were sleeping with me all day and all night, spreading my legs open like chicken, I wasn't a demon. Now I am a demon. Isn't it? I'm going to show you what demons do. What? Jesus! Are you crazy, man? Are you stupid? What is wrong with you? Stop it! 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 Did you actually threaten my son? 
you threw the balls overnight? Or were you on trust when you said those things to him? You know what? I wish the grand could just open and swallow you and your evil children. You know what? Jeremy don't provide my father and whatever he likes to want. Else I will make him rest in peace. How dare you? How dare you too? Are you not? You raised your hands on me. You lost my respect the day you lured me to bed. You shameless whore. You disgraced your motherhood. Now get out of my room before I do something regrettable to your skin. Get out! You will hear from me. Fool! What rubbish! I wake up. 
I came to see your father, his majesty, my bosom friend. Where am I? Where is this place? You are on the path to death. You are heading home to rest forever. But we can't let you. It is not yet your time. Take this. Drink it. I am here to tell you to go back to your body. Yes. Go back and put things right. You have seen it all. Go back home and put your family in order. And wait for the final death. When the Lord will call you. That is the final one. Not this one. I'd be happy to see you then. Farewell, my friend.
adora my daughter. These are the gifts Princess Turugo gave to you. I believe the reason she gave you these things, they are not cleared to you. Adora one. I'm forgiving you. If what Princess Turugo said about you were true, let your soul rest in peace. But <laughs> Adora, if what she said we are not true, I'm using this gift she gifted you as a point of contact between you and her to seek for vengeance. Adora. 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 Look at me. You left your father and I in this world alone. Adora, what do you want me to do? We can't even bear children anymore. Hey! Adora, Wabi. Adora, Wabu. Adora, Wabu. Adora, Wabu. Adora, Wabu. You have to rise and go for your sin, for your revenge. <laughs> go for your revenge, Adora. Adora, please avenge for your death. <laughs> Eh, Wutibo! Eh, Wutibo! Eh, Wutibo! Eh! Oh! Iye, 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 Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I can't see you. I can't see you. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I Yes, this is my life savings. I trust you to the point of giving them all to you. Go and invest with it. Oh my God. Baby, thank you. I'm so happy. Now listen, baby. I promise you, once this contract clicks, we will take a good time and travel to Dubai and have some fun, baby. Really? Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh my God. So, baby, you know what? I have to keep this first. Okay. Baby, I promise you, I'm going to invest wisely. I trust you. It's okay. Come on. <laughs> it's all right. So, baby, now, before I go meet my fiancé to go, I would want us to. Ah, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not in the mood, please. Oh, come on, baby. No, what's that? You're not in the mood. Please, please, please. I beg you, please. Okay, please. Just try. Let's oh, go. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, baby. Come on. Where are you? What?
For how long now? I don't know what is going on. I'm asking you. Stop shouting. Tell me not to shout. Don't. How long have you been sleeping with me and my mother? Under the same roof. Stop shouting. You son of a bitch. Answer me. Hey, hey. I'm not going to be doing this. So if I answer you, will you tell me how long you've been sleeping with your stepbrother? Please, it's your No. Please, no, you please. think I don't know? Why you've been fighting his girlfriend? Angela. You're worse than I thought. You better clean that stack in your eyes before you judge me. Can I come? You son of a bitch. Let it be. You're a fool. Bastard, that's what you are. Good for nothing, idiot. Oh my god. No, this is not happening. Somebody wake me up. Oh my goodness. Mother, shut up! If I were you, I will leave this room this moment. Go to my room. Hide myself in shame. Gosh! Huh? What are you shameless? You're shameless. You're so shameless, mother. How could you do this to me? Oh, really? Yes. Shameless? Yes. Look at pot calling get to black. Look at you. You're shameless, mother. Get out of my you're room. Shameless. Get out. You're so shameless. I can't even believe you. Oh my God. Stop me! Get this boy black. Nonsense. I'll kill this boy. I'll kill him. I'll kill my parents. Mama is okay. Eh? Stop crying. I know it's painful, but you have to stop crying. Eh, Papa, please take heart. Eh? Take heart. God's no best. We can't question God. Please. Mama, I'm no people. Stop crying. If not, you will get sick. You will get sick if you continue like this. Please stop crying. Please, you have to take heart. You have to console yourself. Eh? Hey. Papa Biko, take heart. <clears throat> Please stop crying. Please. Girls of our land. They are finally killed us. Look at them! Finally! They have killed their daughter! I said they have finally have killed her! Going, eh? They have finally finished her! Yeah. What happened? Am I the one chasing you? Or you are part of the killers? Two people have finally killed her! I don't need you to tell me to sit down because there is cheer. Eh? I warned you. Mm -mm. I warned you, but you will not listen. Eh? Because Okonta is a drug. Eh? Oh! Mm. You call yourself or no? You. You're too blind to be our oh no. See, let me tell you. Once I leave here now, I'll revolt for them to remove you. Yes! Oh! I don't want. Pretty, innocent, naive girl. Ow! Okukuibo. Mm-mm. What am I talking about? Look how foul. Very sweet. See, anywhere you are, fight against your parents. See, anywhere you are, if you can fight Kung Fu, put Hacha and put Snake and in the monkey shadow. Finish your parents. Because I told them and they did not listen to me. Now, you have come to zero level. <laughs> Because you have lost the only thing the gods gave to you. Fools! Rubbish! What am I even talking about? What are you talking about? No! See! What are you about? Oh no! Don't talk to me! Oh. Because... I think... What am I talking about? See! Oh no! Let me tell you! 
Oh no! In your next word, you will listen to my advice. Yes! Because you see me, we speak direct from the message of the gods. Especially, <coughs> Kai, when I'm drinking my palm wine, <laughs> the message will be coming. Viao. Boom. Viao. Eh? See, where is the crown prince now? Eh? <laughs> you thought they succeeded? Eh? Useless, hopeless, idiotic, and inconsequential or no? Uh, what am I talking about? I don't even know the meaning. Eh? But I heard it from the crown prince. Eh? Inconsequential. Oh no! Yes, that is what you are. Part two of this war is coming. No need for knife or gun. In fact, no need for on on gun no men, gun men no gun. That they are not aware. No need for they are not aware. See, the part two of this war is a shocker. No, it's not, what am I talking about? It's a shocky. Look at them. Family of killers. Inconsequential or oh no? No, no. I need to put your family in the English. Inconsequential family of oh no. Killers. What am I even talking about? Nonsense. Useless parents. Killer family. You people have killed her finally. And she killed herself too. Inconsequential. Oh no. No, sorry. Inconsequential. Oh no. Family. Because I need to put your family in that big English. Even when I don't know the meaning. Rubbish. Nonsense. You people are crying after killing her. Rubbish. We are the same now. <coughs> we knew. We knew. So you're sleeping with my daughter Turugo. Your supposed stepsister. You had an affair with me and my daughter in this palace. You're a disgrace to men. You baffle me. You have the right. The gods. The audacity. The effrontery to walk into my room. Looking me straight in the eyes to ask me such rubbish question. You, you that is sleeping with your supposed in-law, have you no shame? You that is sleeping with almost all the men in this town, you think I don't know? You did the right thing by not doing that. I will never forgive you. Get out of my room. Get out! You will regret this. Useless woman. Is he a cooking? I give me Lee Jabin. Oh, no. 
It has been days now since the sudden disappearance of our crown prince, Afanna. Hmm. Although the police they are working seriously, they are investigating the matter. And I'm sure that by the time they end the investigation, we shall have a good report. Oh no, we, we should stop relying on these men with black uniform. They are not doing anything at all. Yeah? Go ahead. Bring that off for let Jamika swear for us. Bam. Yeah? Let's go to someone in the evening mass. Okay, I had you very well each year. You see? I have allowed everybody to do it his or her own way. Mm -hmm. I have taken my time and allowed time to speak. Mm -hmm. I have been calm watching the truth to surface naturally. Mm -hmm. But now, I have exhausted my patience. Oh. I will go ahead and bring the offer. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And Princess Trugo must swear that she has no hand in the gruesome death of my daughter, Adora. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> Greetings, my elders. Onowu, His Majesty Igwezeka II of Ezeamuku Kingdom has just returned back to life. Huh? Get it? Yes, Onowu. Huh? Hey, Shubu. Hmm. Hey, yes. Are you sure of what I just said? Onowu, hey, yes. Hey, yes. You don't joke with everything. Hmm. Are you sure? My elders are saying his majesty have returned back to life. No, no, no. Hey! My eyes have seen my ears. <laughs> Our ego is not a human. <laughs> Ichi, I agree with you. I totally agree with you. Uh, I think we must do the right thing now. We should unite and strive to let peace reign in the palace. Yes. yes. <clears throat> I'm scared though. You are scared indeed. You collected money from Lolo Achalugo to revolt against the crown prince. You think we don't know, right? Uh, how can you say that? The rot of the Igwe will soon come up over you. How can you say that? Huh? I know I collected the money. Huh? But I know what I'm doing. Huh? I will, how do you think I will leave the crown prince and support that stupid Pray, Jamaica. Man, man. Yes, me too. That was what I did. How can I support Jamaica to become the crown prince of Asia Muku Kingdom? No! I, I, to be honest with you, I just played along. That was what I did. <laughs> it's time to deliver what we are paid for. I hope two of you enjoy the money. Thunder will strike both of you. Uh, uh, look, I want to see what will strike with you. You will do it too. What is it? No, no, no. What do you want? What do you want? It's okay. Criminals. It's, what did they do here? It's okay. No, no. We are guilty after all. Huh? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ah, no wonder. No wonder. These people are killing me now. Let's leave here. Don't worry. Let's have it. Hurry! These people here. Eh? Oh, okay. And the are Go go see that nation. They are just in because they did it. Uh -huh. Let them go. What is really going on, Ma? What do we call this? Why has this man refused to die? What is this? Buddy, decomposing, heart still pump. Obviously, he's not an ordinary man, Mother. He's a deity. Honestly. Your father is a strong deity on his own. Of course he is. How else will you explain a man building all of this very close to Ojomi River? You did not marry a human being, mother. You married a deity. I'm worried. In fact, I'm scared. Okay? We have to stop this right now. Who knows what next will happen? In fact, I am not interested in this mission anymore. Yes, because that man is not an ordinary man. He is immortal. He is a god. Mother, please. Let's just give, it, let's give this up. Give it up already. Please, I beg of you. Jamike, for your own sake, please. Just let all of this go. I beg of you, please. No. Never! I am not moved by any mysterious happenings. Not after we have succeeded to take away Afana and his mother. No! I will personally crush the dead. And this time around, he will die. And never to resurrect again. Jamike, please listen to me on this one. Okay? It is not too late to back out. It is not. Please. Please. Whosoever the Lord has ordained to rule, let no man drag it with him. Our father is a strong man. He can exit this earth just like that. Delight, keep quiet. We don't know what deeper things our father must have been involved with. Who knows what he must have written to know? Mother, like I was saying, we need to beg His Majesty. I believe he's angry with all of us. That's why he keeps coming back from the land of the dead. He came back to life so he can see us happy. So he can see us united. We need to beg him, especially you, Mother. We need to exempt ourselves from his wrath. Please. Mother, I think my sister Delight have got a point here. We should consider what she has just said. I thought you said I should keep quiet. Mother, what do you say? Hope you enjoyed the food. Mm. Oh, yeah, Uncle. Mm. I hope it's okay. You tried. So how much is our bill? 1,000. Just 1,000. Mm. For this sense? Yes. Yeah. Well, it's a small money. Mm. Baby? Can I want?
Mugumba. Hmm. The king sent me to you. Do not panic, Ugumba. His Majesty is still alive. Yes. I thought they have announced his death. You are right, but they came back to life for two reasons. One, you. Second reason does not concern you. Please. Am I safe? You are safe. Believe me, you are safe. Hey. Please, call and answer this call and save us from this anarchy. Please. Hey! I will ever regret my actions. Hi! Mm. Hey. Oh God, please forgive me. Hmm? It's okay. I am truly sorry. Please. I know I've messed up, but I'm only human. Nebiko, please forgive me. I know I've messed up. I know I don't deserve you anymore. But please, find a place in your heart to forgive me and accept me back. I'm begging you. Please. I'm truly sorry. I'm sorry. But how could you? How could you? I don't you? know what came over me. I don't, I don't know what I was doing. I believe I was possessed by unseen forces. Baby, come on, look at me. I've thrown away my ego. I'm kneeling before you and I'm begging you to please forgive me and accept me back. You know I can't do this without you. I've not been able to sleep. I can't live without you. Do you want me to die? Please, 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 just forgive me. I'm begging you. I'm truly sorry. Please. Please, please, I'm begging you. Please, please. It, it's okay. Get on. Get on. I have forgiven you. It's okay. See, I forgive you from the depth of my heart. Okay? I love you. Rich. I'm sorry. I promise you this will never happen again. I'm a changed person now. Okay? It's okay. From him, have you seen him? Have you? I haven't heard. What? What? Hi. What is he? Oh. What? He brought, he brought a proposal to me about this international contracts about oil and gas, and he needed me to bring us some money as partnership. Uh -huh. Then he provided files, documents to show God. that it's real, and then I, I gave him. 300 million for the contract. He's supposed to see me today. I haven't heard from him. I haven't seen him. And this is what I got. See? Just take a look. See what I got. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. Oh, God, I'm finished. Oh, I'm finished. You gave him 
three hundred million without my consent. of you, okay? I, I, I caught mother kissing my boyfriend under this roof! Kiss him! Yes! Tell me it's not true. That's why she had the mind to give him such an amount without even consulting me or any of us. It's not true. She is lying. She is completely insane! I'm not lying! I'm not lying, okay? I'm not. If you think I'm lying, Go ahead and swear. Why don't you swear it? Swear it, mother! Swear to the God of Ojomi River that you were not sleeping with my boyfriend! Swear, mother! Swear it! She is a bloody liar! Will you shut up your mouth or I shut it up for you? This is your wayward, shameless and useless sister is sleeping with Eziafa under this roof, under this palace! She's keeping with her stepbrother. Oh, okay then. Okay then. Moment of truth, right? Let's let the cat out of the bag. Aren't you sleeping with the same as Alpha? That's not true. No, deny it, mother! It's not true. I knew you were sleeping with him! It's not true! Oh, no. Enough! Enough! Both of you. Let's take a good look at yourselves. You're so shameless. You disgust me. No wonder I keep having setbacks in all my efforts. You two are shameless. Henceforth, both of you stay away from me. I won't say it again. Shameless! Shameless! You're shameless too! Shameless mother! Shameless idiot! Call the villagers. Oh, yeah, no. 
should I go and help him? Or maybe I should go and help him? Oh, yeah, no. Okay, let me see if I can try and help you. Remember, we're so huge. How will I even start?
loss of our land. Please help me. Help me, please. I know this man is not dead. Yes. Something in my mind tells me he's not dead. Even if he's not breathing, yes, I know he's not dead. Please help me. Save his life. Please, you just have to help me. I've tried everything that Baba taught me. I've tried everything. Yes. He's not responding to my treatment. Please help me. Save him for me, please. Stranger, please. Wake up. If you can heal me, please wake up. No. Please wake up. I've tried everything, please. Help me. I know you can help me, please help me.
is dead. Don't touch him. This one is dead. Don't. He's not dead. He's still alive. I am alive. I am not dead, alright? Please don't run. Um, where is this place? I mean, where am I? Like, I need to find my way home. My brother is at the hospital. I, I was kidnapped by my brother. They gave me some substance to take. I mean, a poison. You know, so, so that's all I... Your own brother kidnapped you and gave you poison. Hey! It's a long story, right? I am from Eziamuku Kingdom. Oh yes, I need to find my way. Wait, Eziamuku Kingdom? Yes, Eziamuku Kingdom. That's where I'm from. Okay, fine. If you are really from Eziamuku Kingdom, describe their king to us. Yes. Let us know. Yes, the Igwe is very, very sick. I am very, very aware of that. But tell us, the sickness, what is it about? Okay. Um, he has speech impairment. You know, he finds it hard to communicate with people. So, he literally writes down things for his subjects, if you understand what I mean. He writes everything down, you know, for people to understand. Like, if you know him, you know I'm saying the truth. You know about that. Okay. Yes. It's okay. Your town is very, very far. And it will take you like two days before you can get there. You have to come down first, yeah? Uh, okay? Um, uh, okay, no problem. Please, I, I, I need to find my way home. All right? My mother had a fatal accident. So I, I need to see her at the hospital. Hey, yes. we are sorry about that. Mm -hmm. um, Amara, mm -hmm. go prepare food for him. He looks hungry and tired. You want to leave me here? Go fast. Don't worry. Will you wait for me till I come back? Are eh? you scared now? Go! <laughs> come, let me get you. Well, fast, please, fast. You need to help me find my way home. I'm going to okay? Help you. My mother is at the hospital. I need to see her, please. Don't worry. All right? God in heaven for giving me my life back. I thank God for not just giving me my life back, for giving me my health, giving me the ability sit with the good people of my family and even the evil men, evil people of my family and talk Jamike Jamike the mention of your name leaves a sour taste in my mouth. Jamike, Jamike, Jamike! Jamike. Hmm? I know how you killed me for the second time. Know all the despicable things you've been doing, all the evils you've been perpetrating in this palace, all in the name of ascending this throne, which you will never get. 
Jamie K, I know how you connived. How you used my cook. Used my cook to poison my precious fruit juice. Hmm? I know that. And I know more. That woman sitting there at Alugo. You are the repository of evil, of the devil herself. Your name, your second name should be devil, should be Jezebel. I know how you and your daughter, Drugo, connived and paid the truck driver to kill my darling wife, Udunga. I know that. And I know more. Atalugo, I know more about your evil deeds. Atalugo, you have enjoyed sexual intercourse with Eziapa. What? Uh, <clears throat> with Okadike. And other men, Atalugo, Atalugo, you are worse than a whore. Hey. Mother and daughter having sexual intercourse with Eziafa. Women, you and your children are the biggest, the biggest problem, the heaviest load of this palace. You, Drugo, Drugo, oh, no. This girl, this girl deceived your daughter. She deceived your daughter, leading to your daughter's death. Oh. Yes, deceived your daughter in order to hurt my flesh. Oh. That was why my flesh was rotten oh. and everything was geared towards capturing the throne oh. Jamike Jamike the evil one you plotted you schemed and kidnapped the heir apparent to the throne him kidnapped with a view to that you killed him you thought you killed him ha ah! you did not you could don't the gods of our ancestors the gods of our land rose in his defense he is the anointed the anointed heir apparent our gods have saved him I want to tell you that before long, before long, the heir apparent to the throne, the rightful heir to the throne, Afana, will walk in here and claim the throne of his fathers, not this imposter. Not this evil schema. Not this satanic face. What did you call your name? Hytenshan. Prince. Hytenshan. It's going to remain high up there. It will not shock anybody. 
Yes, and when it does shock, it will be you. It will shock you. Will shock you. Just as I am going to shock. It's a long story. Make it short. Make it quick. Quick. <clears throat> Your father is... Goomba Pro. Ukutu. Spectre Spirit! Who is my father? Your, your father is Ugumba from Ukutu Kingdom. I, I, I couldn't stand your father's health condition. So I paid him to get me pregnant. Years ago, your majesty the king entered into a covenant of immortality. That is why he can never die unless water from this pot is spewed to the ground. He must have sent you. Yes. It is done. You can go and bury the king. Thank you. Thank you. Father, I am glad you spoke a word. No more pains. Continue to pray for this family and for the entire kingdom. Talk like that. 
I want you here. You don't have to leave now that you can speak. I need you here. Please, Father, don't leave. Please, Father. Please. Stay with me, please. Ten years there. My king. Afana. My father. My king. A man of great valor. Behold your people. Behold them. And your kingdom. Your reign shall be peaceful. Peace. Leave me. Leave me, all of you. I want to sleep. Ibuizika, <laughs> the second of Isia Maku Kingdom wants to sleep. Shall we please excuse him? Thank <laughs> you. 